everybody, how are we? Welcome along. It's Thursday evening, which means it's a little cheeky bonus stream, doesn't it? Because, uh, no, it's not, it's Wednesday. Fuck, it's Wednesday. Normal stream. <laughs> it's felt like a long day. It's felt a long, I don't even know what day it is, and I'm already sitting there going, ah, it's a Thursday. It's clearly a Wednesday, Tony. Come on, learn your days, pal. Right, yes, it's Wednesday. Merry belated Christmas still to everyone who's obviously I've not seen since Christmas has started and then obviously cancelled. Uh, not cancelled, but finished. Um, what? Where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Normally I just say hello and let you know what's going on. Tonight I am rambling. Rambling. And I guess that kind of makes sense given how yesterday's stream was. We've started our first stream at Dungannon Swift's. We ate a massive trifle. We had a bottle of Baileys. We got interrupted by my smallest child. Results are up and down. We're about to play the league leaders. And then the January transfer window opens. I think we've got quite a bit to do tonight. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Here we go. Friendly Ghost already in with a champagne problems. I'm presuming again, Taylor Swift reference. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> I don't get the reference, but I presume that is one. Uh, that was what was happening yesterday, by the way, of course, as well. Loads and loads of Taylor Swift references because of the fact we are managing Dungallon Swifts. I did not get a single one of those references, and I'm sure that they're going to continue tonight. I'm sure I'm not going to get any of them as we go on as well. So, liberal lover lord, we're all doing the same. I appreciate that. Yes, we're all very much in that sort of that that moment between Christmas and New Year where time is irrelevant <laughs> and no one really knows what's happening and all the times are pretty much the same. We just go, when is it? And everyone goes, sort of Christmas? And that's sort of where we are. So that makes sense. Um, here is the, what was happening, though. So this is Dungan and Swift. We've moved here, having left Porter down, who, by the way, for narrative purposes, on New Year's Day, will face Dungan and Swift. In real life, by the way, not in not in not in game, but it, but IRL. That's what's happening. Um, so that's a thing. So watch out for that. If you're in, if you're in Northern Ireland, obviously feel free to go and check that game out. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but this is, of course, where we are. We're doing the British Steel Challenge. And we're making a bit of a meal of it, to be honest. We're really dragging it out. Dungan and Swifts are struggling in the Danska Bank Premiership. They are currently second bottom. They were bottom when we took over, though, to be honest. They had no wins, and now we've got three wins. So that's better. Do have 14 defeats, which is pretty bad. And bang, I have a game in hand. And we're still five points behind Balamina. So that's... It's going to be tough. As Friendly Ghost says, they've only got half of your heart. That's why, again, presumably a Taylor Swift reference. We are hoping to not get relegated. If we stay in this relegation battle, by the way, here, this little, this little block here, that's fine. That's a relegation playoff. So that would mean that we'd still have to face the winner of the promotion playoffs here, which could be, at the minute, Donningstown or the Welders. Uh, there's Porter down, by the way, still hanging there in eighth. Have they replaced me with a proper full-time manager yet? Gerard Kerr is the guy who's in charge. Now, where's he come from? He has come from... Anna, I think, has he? I had his caretaker manager of Banbridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. So, basically, when we left Banbridge, he was then the caretaker manager. We then went to Porter Down. When he, when we left Porter Down, he's then become the manager of Porter Down. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, genuinely, we've got another man on the inside is going in there and uh, and sort of continuing our work. So, well done, Gerard Kerr. You keep going. You try and work from the... Uh, Take them down from the inside. That's what we're hoping from. So, yeah, Porter down still in eighth. Uh, Bambridge, by the way, are uh, fifth. So again, they've done that sort of that drop down from fifth to eighth, which is what we did. So let's see if that uh, if that works for them. So, as I say, at the minute, this is what the results have looked like since we've taken over. Now, we beat Balamina there, which was a uh, which was a huge result. Okay, then we lost to Banger, which was a dreadful result to be honest. We then beat Cliftonville, which was massive. Tony's kicking his offsprings out. I don't know if that's a Taylor, Taylor Swift reference or not, but welcome in, Geezer. Very, very privileged to have you in, of course. Rajo, as always, welcome in, buddy. Um, we then got hammered by Coleraine, 5-1 and 2-0. We beat Linfield. We beat fucking Linfield of all teams. I mean, they, granted, they went down to 10 men, but still, we beat Linfield. And then we somehow 
pulled off a 3-3 draw with Warren Point, which was ridiculous. We finally managed to get that that, uh, that sorted. Then, unfortunately, we lost to Glen Avon. And um, while I had a small child attached to me as well, uh, my own child, by the way, so he woke up during that match. Gavin Brash, welcome in, buddy. Can we have more Taylor Swift jokes tonight? I feel like the disappointed of missing them all last night. I need to shake it off. You can indeed. Again, I'm not sure. I, I presume, is that one of them? That might be one of them. That might be one of them. Welcome in, though, by the way, Gav. Merry Christmas. Hope you're well. Gav's feeling a little delicate after missing out. I think he probably is. Reference? Maybe? Refer reference. I'm going to say reference. I think that could be it. What's going on with the Taylor Swift jokes? Basically, Geezer Dre, um, the club are called Dungannon Swifts. So that's why people have went with the, the, the Taylor Swift gags. I don't get any of them because I'm not really sure who Taylor Swift is. In fact, to be honest... I have no idea who Taylor Swift is. <laughs> and I was I was shown a video of Taylor Swift last night and I still don't really know. So it's 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 a it's a bit of a tricky one. So there's going to be lots of stuff happening that I don't really understand, pretty much like normal of course. But we're going to try and try and get through it ourselves to be honest. So what we're going to do, we're going to hopefully get through this uh, this Glen Touring game. Then we got a little bit of sort of time to chill ourselves out, have a a sort of debrief and then hopefully hit the January transfer window pretty much straight away. I have no idea who Taylor Swift is. Yes, you do stop trying to sound cool. No, I don't. <laughs> Believe it or not, liberal lover lord, you clearly, you clearly don't. <laughs> you clearly haven't been around here a long time. <laughs> so you've uh you, you don't know me very well at this point. Um basically I uh the amount of musical knowledge I have stopped in about 1998, I think. Maybe uh, 2001, possibly, if a, if a push. But generally, I, I don't. I don't really know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not one for. I'm not one for the modern ages, as I'm sure you'll you'll be aware if you've been following this for a while. To be honest. So, and if not, then then yeah, apparently I'm doing it all just for just for banter. They, see, anti-hero, that's what they were talking about last night, Gavin. They were talking about me being an anti-hero, and, I, and, I, and again, I was like, I didn't really understand it. I thought it meant as in, like, I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a sort of winning them back over, but, but apparently it was another reference that I didn't get, so never mind. Uh, Christmas was fine, thank you, Jimmy Chunga. Welcome in. Of course, nice to, nice to have you here as well. Tenth is slightly better than twelfth. Slightly better than twelfth. Um... Still not great, though. Still not great. The next Travis Bickle. Travis Bickle. Taxi driver. Is that right? Dre, Dre, geezer. Travis Bickle is taxi driver. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Um, if not, then I've got that completely wrong as well. It is taxi driver. See? There you go. See? I do know something. I do know something. Not much, but I know something. Please don't, mate. Please don't do this as, like a, as a whole list of, of references that I may or may not get, because I'll tell you right now, I will not get most of them. Not get most of them. Uh, we're going to go double DLP, uh, double DMs at this point, irrespective of whether or not they're any good or not. He's moved on from when I was last here. Oh, Wald. Like, to be fair, Porter Down did not go well. <laughs> did not go well. We thought it was going to go well, right? We thought it was going to go well, and we thought, okay, we're doing a reasonable job here. But it turns out, it turns out it wasn't a reasonable job at all. It was quite bad. and uh, And because of that, we then have to uh, we then have to sort of like somehow we failed upwards. I don't understand how, but we failed upwards. Tony versus popular culture, the new tour. Exactly. We can get we can we could sell this. Brilliant. The thing is though, like trying to sort of convince people that as as you guys are, are sort of saying now, going, oh, there's, there's no way that the Tony doesn't know who these people are. Genuinely, I've got no idea, but trying to sort of sell that as a tour where people go like, does he not know? Like, nah, I don't. It's a tricky one. So yeah, this match against Glenavon, we're expecting to be absolutely pummeled. You get you get yourself lurking. You get yourself lurking. Don't worry about that, Jimmy. It's a pleasure to have you in. But yeah, let's hopefully get like a draw. I take a draw in this situation, right? I would one hundred percent take a draw. Truth be told, there are plenty of people in pop culture and hemisphere that I'm clueless as their existence as well. Yeah, exactly, Gavin. And then, like, everyone gives it the whole, like, oh, I can't believe you don't know who, like, Simon Hemisphere is. And it's like, well, uh, how would I need to know who Simon Hemisphere is? What does he do? Like, you know, it's like, oh, he plays in the band, the uh, the Maltese Muppets. And I'm like, I don't, no idea. 
uh, they've got they they have that song called like you know three sofas and I'm like fucking ah never heard it never heard it. No, it was really big. It was really big. It was on that that show called uh, called Things That Sleep. And it's like it was on it was on Netflix. I'm like I, I don't know. No idea. No idea. Anything involves YouTube or TikTok, I'm out. Like it's just the whole. It's just everything. Like, it's just everything. I'm like, I just there's a and there's a point. There's a point. Okay, that that the younger viewers sign tonight in the audience. It it will catch up to you. It will catch up when this just becomes a point when. There's just too much stuff. There's too much stuff and you can't keep up with it all anymore. And you sort of go like, what's the point? <laughs> like, everyone goes and you watch this and you're like, no. <laughs> when? When did you see it? Because I, I don't have any time to do that sort of stuff anymore. Um, and yeah, there's just, there's just too many things. Far too many things. But then at the same time, there's also nothing. I sat with Mrs. J the other day trying to go through finding something to watch on, on Netflix and that I was just sat going it's like a thousand things but they all look shit and I don't know like I, I I don't know whether it's me it probably is me to be honest but but a lot of the things that I see just look really bad really bad or like they're just or they're just they're, they're produced just because they can be like like here's the thing right like the R9 documentary, the one about Ronaldo. I, I I saw that advertised and I was like, oh yeah, give me that. Like that's what I want to see. And when I watched it, it was just it just skimmed the surface of everything. There was no depth to it. There was I didn't. I'm not gonna say I didn't learn anything that I didn't already know because I'm not saying that I knew everything, but it just didn't give you anything. Like it just very. It was almost kind of like just a timeline of like, so this is what this is where Ronaldo started. Then he moved to this club. Then he moved to this club. Then he moved to this club. Then he had like his, his knee injury in the World Cup, and then and then he recovered a bit and went on to be a decent player. And it didn't even cover the fact that the way he went on to be a decent player and then declined again. It just sort of went. He got better, and that's the end of it. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, that's that's a shame because you know a player of his stature deserved. A documentary made about him properly that that highlighted just how good he was and and you know how bad that injury was and like you know what happened it was a shame they missed out an awful lot an awful lot and they just didn't do it so i was a bit yeah i was a bit a bit frustrated at that to be honest i was like oh oh well that's a shame do we bring O'Connor? O'Connor's knackered. Even Ricky, how are you, buddy? All told me was how great he was, but he deserves so much more than he got. Yeah, which is which is which is brilliant, but at the same time, as I said, there wasn't really much more, was there? There was just like, yeah, he was great, wasn't he? And you're like, yeah. All right, bye then. That, that's literally all there was, all there was, and I don't know. Like, someone signed off on it and went, there you go, there's your documentary finished. But as you say, Ricky, so much more, so much more to the story. Like, the like the idea of moving to to Real Madrid when he previously played for Barcelona, moving to AC Milan when he previously played for Inter, all the stress, and, like, and going back to Italy. Like, all that should have been covered. But it just wasn't. It was just sort of, like, brushed under the carpet of, like, oh, okay. Like the way Tony refers to Ronaldo was all right. No, Ronaldo was one of the greatest strikers of all time, Walt. That was my problem. Like, he's one of the greatest strikers of all time. But that documentary was very much along the lines of, oh, Ronaldo was fine. Didn't play in the Premier League, though, did he? It might as well have said that. But, oh, yeah, he was He was, He was. was Ronaldo. He was good. But you know what? Pierre van Hooydonk played in the Premier League, so therefore Pierre van Hooydonk was better. That's what they might as well have said. They probably just should have done that. Hayden Bell, appreciate the follow, by the way. That's a man who's sitting there just going, yeah, you know what? Jameson's spitting truth. Now we go, Ali Dai is better than uh, Ronaldo. Here, here we go. Now now the uh, the truth bombs come out. <laughs> the big bombs are coming. Oh. Uh, 
but, but do you get what I mean? Like, that's, that's sort of where we go. Rebellious, how are you, man? Welcome in. I'm very well, thank you, Hayden. Very well indeed. I hope you're well too. Merry Christmas, by the way. I'll die, he was overrated. <laughs> is George Wade's cousin? How can he possibly be overrated? Lyle Lamb 2 is better than R9. I mean, to be fair, none of these guys were Stephen Froggart, so. Bosco Balaban. Ali Dai, who was soon as his greatest signing. Soon, the thing is, Ali Dai also ended up signing for Blind Spartans and then went and did a degree at Newcastle Uni. Preferred Batter Stewart. Well, that's the thing, like, the Batter Stewart documentary would essentially be Batter Stewart played for Fiorentina. He was good. He had long hair. That's essentially what they would have been doing. No one gives Stephen Island the respect he deserves. Stephen Island deserves no respect. Stephen Island was an absolute waste of space. That's why he gets no respect. 1 0 defeat. It's not the worst thing in the world, is it? We did alright. Uh, where am I from? asks Hayden. I'm from the northeast of England, Hayden. I'm originally from, uh, originally from Sunderland, but I live down, live down in York now, so. All the way down south. O'Connor out for eight weeks with knee ligament injury. Oh, <laughs> it never rains, it pours, isn't it? R9 is the greatest striker ever. I mean, that's a bold statement, Ricky, but you know what? But you know what? You, you make a good point. You make a really good point. He's in that conversation, isn't he? He is absolutely in that conversation. He had everything. He had pace. He had power. He had quick feet. He could head the ball. He could strike a ball with it. Like Just those oh, just absolute legs on him could score all manner of goals as well that's the thing he wasn't just getting tap-ins he was you know he was like driving against defenders he was like scoring goals from outside the box he was making timely runs he was pouncing he was poaching he was he was he was, every, he was everything he was all things to all men and women but yeah sadly sadly he's he's no longer playing you're from shields nice Hayden nice Who's your team then? Don't say, don't say them, them down the road. Don't say the ones with the uh just 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 don't say. <laughs> don't say. Gavin Brash, York's lovely, not been for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, York, York's nice. York's beautiful. Especially this time of year as well, when it's a little bit crisp and stuff. It's uh it look it looks pretty. It looks pretty. Knees made out of twiglets. Well, well yeah, and this is the problem, see? All those sorts of things, they should have been like. They, they didn't really go into the whole fact that the first surgery was botched. And they kind of, they, they interviewed the the surgeon who just went, yeah, in hindsight, I did it wrong. And then that was it. That's, that's all he did. He was like, yeah, I did it wrong. So I did a second surgery. And like, no, you need to be accountable for the fact that the first surgery went wrong. And why did it go wrong? Like, why did you think that what you were doing was the first time was right? Even a tattoo biking, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're well, buddy. Hope you appreciate the raid last night as well, by the way. So thank you for the uh, for the tweets about that one. Talk of Pierre van Hoydonk just reminds me of the time me and my brother got his name on a jersey and left Celtic the next day. Mate, that's that's brutal, isn't it? Because that would have cost a fucking fortune as well getting getting van Hoydonk on. But he was again, he was a great player as well, mind. He was good. Yeah, as I say, apologies uh, for you. Yeah, don't worry, Hayden. If you're a Newcastle fan, that's fine. Yeah, apologies. Feel free to apologize, obviously. But yeah, yeah, we we don't we don't talk a lot about uh, about the Premier League football anyway on this uh, on this stream. So, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you're having a lovely time. That's all. Uh, that's all we have to say about that. But anyway, how was Christmas? How was Christmas? Hope it was good. A five pound letter. That's a mortgage. What was five pound letter? What have I missed? What did I miss? So we need oh, this man, maybe, maybe Scott McCaffrey. Would you come on trial possibly? Got a gaming laptop, nice, good work. Very good work. Who's your, um, have you started FM23 then, have you? Oh, five pound a letter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, see, now I get it, now I get it, yeah. Yeah, five pound a letter at Van Hoy, don't want to be horrific. Venegor of Hesselink as well was the, uh, 
was the one where he just sort of like went, uh, maybe we'll just get Jan. Like, do you like a different player by any chance? Have you ever found a team on FM then got an affiliation with them? Oh, mate, so many, so many. I fall in love too easily. Blythe Spartans was my first one. I wrote a, I wrote a stand up show about Blythe Spartans. Then we had Peterborough last year. Uh, sorry, in, in, in 21, we had Peterborough. Last year was. Who did we fall in love with last year? Indonesia, we fell in love with last year, which was, which was pretty good fun. Friendly Ghost, RC Valvike. Yeah, he's our reg resident Dutch expert. And I was and I was just getting to odd. I was just getting to odd there, Gavin. So there you go. We actually have I say we have until until fairly recently. I think I think the the uh the the link up is probably coming to an end actually, because the uh our man on the inside fortunately no longer works for the club anymore. So I think that may come to an end. But yeah, we we got a link up with um with Odd Bow Club in Norway. So we have an actual uh Norwegian Norwegian football club that we can uh, that, we, that we can uh, have a point of contact with so, so that was pretty cool yeah fortunately the uh, the chat wanted hoodies and only I got one there was there was, there was anger there was anger I know I, I know friendly goes like they, you know we need to get we need to try and get your hoodie at some point somehow I fell in love with Azan on FM22 purely because of Morton Gams Pedersen we all fall in love with Morton Gams Pedersen and everything the man does. This season is definitely QRM. Just hope we got promoted FM. Can't see it happening in real life. That's good though. Is that, that that's France, isn't it? We went angry gaffer, just disappointed. Hey, look, I'm, I'm on your guys' sides, Raju. I'm on, absolutely on your guys' sides. I thought there was going to be a, a thing with hoodies, but that was very, very quickly changed. When it? it was very, very quickly to like there are no hoodies. And I was like, what? We, we we were promised hoodies. There was talk of like you know. A little sort of a section on the website like TGFM stuff, but sadly it didn't didn't come didn't come through. But you know what? It was it was a it was a wild ride while we had it. It was great. We actually had a this is this is the thing. So we, we even did a did a job interview with the club and with Norwegian media, so it was fun. It was fun. I uh Evening, crazy. You'll see how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Morton Gams Pedersen was still unreal at free kicks. He was, he was outstanding, wasn't he? He was a brilliant player. Dutch goalkeeper still, not too bad. Good Christmas, very good actually. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. We're um, we are off to my parents tomorrow, so we're not about tomorrow night. Which means we'll be back, hopefully back on Friday. So we'll be streaming again on Friday. So that'll be quite nice. But yeah, certainly can't, uh, certainly can't complain. Did I just hear Dutch goalkeeper? Yeah, it was the one that we looked at when we were at Porter Down. Friendly. That Ali Geet Bruin. We're looking, we've, keep, we've kept him on the shortlist. So he's, we hope he's going to be the next Mickey Van Sass. So he's on, he's on the shortlist. I'm not sure if he's... I think we we all know we're all questioning whether or not he's the uh, he's the guy Hoy and Hal, of course we still love the fact that he's still there so maybe maybe Fat Nigel on a flying visit half time the Leeds City game hopes going well nice yeah it's all good it's all good thank you we're doing we're doing fine at the minute I think we're just about getting in Jordan Morrison's cropped up again his tackling's not very good though. Carhal McGinty. I mean, oh, it'd be good if we could get him in. It's not going to happen, though, is it? Leo Tool, fullback. I think it's very much suggesting, as I've just seen there, it's suggesting that we play Jones at centre back rather than in midfield. Now that would probably explain a little bit of the issues that we're having in uh, in in defence at the minute. 17 eccentricity for the goalkeeper oh yeah 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 it's like it's it's a difficult thing because it's one of the things that we've really found frustrating about him just like oh, just don't 
don't go charging out, please. Um, and it was one of the things that sort of made us a little bit sceptical about him. I hope he wouldn't actually have that level of stuff. But at the same time, I was just like, ah, who cares? Do what you want. It'll be fine. Interesting that they've recommended a couple of uh, Porter Down players, to be honest. Audrin Casey, they're suggesting, is a midfielder from Cliftonville. What we need is we need a kind of like kind of like a Crawford who just sort of turns up and is just mint. You know, or like a DJ Pedro or something like that. That's what we need right now. Or maybe, maybe a bit of this. Look at Kim Nelson's haircut, man. What? Like, he's gone for the R9, but he's done it himself. Hasn't he? I, th I think I respect it. I know he's he's not played well in the in the in the cup, but you never know, do you? We tried to get Crawford. We'll have a look because I think he was um, he was he went to well, he went to Cambridge, I think, didn't he? Tom Crawford, Cambridge, listed. Now, would would he be good enough though to go seven hundred? They want seven hundred quid. No chance. Right, suggested targets. Let's hear what they've got. Nothing. 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 Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we've got a couple of potential lads coming on trial. That's fine. Let's have a look at these guys. So I think this is what we need to look at. Okay. That's, we don't need that, do we? Young isn't really what we need. This is what we need, regular starter. Player who can just come in and do what, do the business. Where's he playing? Newry. First teamer as well by the looks of it. Ethan Galbraith. Four and a half grand? No. Wasn't it Toby Crawford? No, it was Tom Crawford. Sure it was Tom Crawford, wasn't it? Oh, actually, my mistake, my mistake. My mistake. He hasn't even played. Maybe that's why we weren't, maybe that's why we were confused. Now, is he going to make the step up though into the into the no wages great spot Dennis is he going to be able to make the step up that's the question that's a big question isn't it Cappy Rogers he, he won't leave just yet Sam Roscoe probably isn't going to go either, is he? Nobody be interested. Can't afford his wages. Not giving any future fees either. We're in a position as well where we're sort of like, if we can get some players who come from relegated, or sort of released Premier League clubs, then we'll be grand. But at the minute, we're sort of overspending as well, so... We haven't even got any uh, any additional wage budget to, to bring players in, to sign them. So we are going to have to potentially look to get players out in order to get more players in. And the problem, of course, with being near the bottom of the league is no one really wants your players. Because uh, people tend to think that they're not very good. Which, in this sense, they'd, they'd probably be right. You know? They'd probably be right. So, in terms of where I think, we've got the squad planner, right? This is where I think we are now. So, Dunn is going to be our goalkeeper, just because we have a goalkeeper, and that's as good as it's going to get, right? 
Maurin can play right back. We don't really have another right back. Okay? So take youngsters out. Joey Jones is a midfield. We're playing a midfield and as a centre back. So that gives you a bit of an indication as to how bad the, the centre back situation currently is and the midfield situation currently is. Um, so let's take. Let's move Bobby Dean there for now. Above us, above us, uh, full back. Jim Heron, Todd, Scott McCaffrey, right? Okay, he's not going to be part of that conversation. So we're going to put him there. Take him off. Take him off. Take him off. Right, that's where we are for for centre backs. Not not really stacked at this point. Left back, Glenny, Scott, and then a midfielder, Bess. We'll take him off there as well. Okay. Midfield then. So we've been playing Jones here. But I guess if the question is that it's Mitchell and Todd, then that's that's worrying, right? So yeah, we'll move Mitchell and Todd up there. Okay. Take this guy off. Take McCaffrey off. Mahoney would be good. If we could get him in, that would be good. Wingers, we've got Campbell O'Brien. Ranel Hercules, who we, we've brought in on, on trial. I don't think there's any sort of like I don't think there's any chance of getting a getting him for reasonable. 300 quid though. It's a shame we haven't got that sort of money, but he's called Hercules, so we thought, right, that's a reasonable name. Ryan Mace is on his way out, so we can remove him from there. Mark Walsh is out on loan, so he's not really an option right now. Combi's a striker. O'Connor Gallagher. Yeah, we're, we're lacking a lot, aren't we, really? So it's central defenders, central midfielders. I mean, if we put Jones at centre half, that then means we need to find another centre mid. If we go four two four diamond, four four two diamond, then. Mitchell would have to go there. Prendergast for O'Connor. Could we put... Would this work? Something like that. Was some of that work, maybe? I guess it sort of covers bases. And it would sort of work until we get O'Connor back. Because O'Connor's out for a while now, so... We need to try and work a way to... Limit the fact we don't really have any attacking flair. Or the other option is we sort of go back to to what we had before when we were with um, Bambridge, and we did that. That was our kind of like change of shape, wasn't it? So we had something like that. I mean, that could, again, that could sort of work. And then Mooney can drop into there if needs be. Let's call that a four, three. So four, two, two, one, one.
four, oh, sorry, four two two one one, isn't it? Yeah. So let's try that, right? And then we can copy that, can't we? And then that can be. like that and that's a bit more now would you say that's more attacking or is that more defense that's more attacking isn't it red now bros of the sad little stream fm for a lot of time only getting one viewer yeah it can be it can be red nap but it's it's just part and parcel of the journey i'm afraid like you know you gotta you gotta stick at it though like how long how long have you been you know how long you've been doing this that's what you gotta ask yourself you've been doing it for a while or not Yeah. You know, a four two four has been working magic, scoring fun, little weak at the back. I think this is the thing, I think we're quite weak all over the sh shop to be honest. Because um, that doesn't look too bad, does it? If we can sort of like get the ball moving. Oh that's got a bit of something in it. And then maybe play that to start off with. Yeah, stopped two years ago, two ones because of the issues, and then boom. Yeah. I mean, I'm, look, as long, as long as you're having fun, that's the main thing. You just got to have fun. If you're not having fun, then you, it's not it's not worth doing. That's the thing. You got to, like, if you're not enjoying it, don't bother. Don't bother. Yeah. Like, yank the cord. Because if you're not having fun, then all that's going to happen is you're going to make yourself feel worse. So, you yeah. know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. All right, let's try that then. Let's try, try that sort of four, four with the double DM, central mid, one striker. See if that works. Oh, they want wages. This is just Roscoe's probably not going to come in. Toby Crawford could be coming back in though. This is where it's going to get fixed. We get fixed right now. Crawford comes in. Fixes it all up. What can possibly go wrong? I mean, who's who's transfer listed? I guess that's part of the uh, thing we can look at as well, actually. Carthel Farron. Nah, he's not. Let's take that there. Let's go to listed. Again, go to DMs. Ronan Wilson. Let's just chuck in for him, you know? See if he'll see if there's any bites. I think we have to do the same as well with the uh, defenders. I'm normally a little bit more as as uh, the people who've been here around before. No, I'm a little bit more sort of like, let's try and consider this. Let's try and consider that. Whereas at the minute, I'm just like, we need players badly. Like, we don't have time to <laughs> try and like work out what is the r exact right player for our squad. Like, you know, have, has he got the right mentality? Like, you know, has is it, or is, um, is he like sort of statistically playing well? We haven't got time for that. It's just like literally like, give me the, give me the guy. Get him, on, get him on the phone. Tell him he's on his way. Right. Like Daniel Byrne, for example, this is what we need. Just like an old centre back who can just stay and play six foot three. That's what we need. Old man defender, old man midfielder, and then youthful midfielder as well who can like do a bit of running. That's what I'm hoping for. Ooh, says a transfer block. What's that? All right, Mace has left the club. That might free us a little bit of money, possibly. Um, what is Howie? Oh, he's a he's a scout, right? Okay, eleven to twelve. Eleven to twelve. What's Ben Roy? Four to six. I mean, Ben, I'm really sorry, mate, but you, you, you're gonna go like. There you are. 
been a pleasure, Ben. But I need a scout who's better than you. Especially with the transfer window open. Like, we need to get someone moving on this pretty quickly. Yeah, recommend the signing. Straight in. Who have you got? Carl McGillanty. Let's keep you on the shortlist because we're going to need you at some point. Transfer window is open. Linfield are expected to move for Kyle Curran, who's uh, crushing it over at Crusaders. I mean, we might be interested in that as well. We can't, can't do anything for him. He's out of contract. Queens want Lee Mooney from us, apparently. Nothing coming through from uh, from us as to what we can do in terms of our links, so it's not going to help us. The media aren't going to give us any ideas for players to look at. Lan have made an offer for Ronan Wilson. I mean, that's again, that's not going to help us, is it? I don't even think we can afford to get Clever thing, can we? No, we can't. <laughs> we de definitely can't. Institute are going to try and sign McMullen. Well, so are we then. But the only problem is, I think if Institute want them, then they're further down than we are. Yeah, they're like in the bottom division. What are we doing trying to buy players who the bottom, bottom players are, uh, are looking at? Evening, car. How are you, man? Welcome in. Merry Christmas. Hope life's treated you good. Hope the little one's doing well. Don't understand why they why they want money like you're just look we can't give you money Ronan. we can't give you money it's not it's not what it's about football should be about just coming and playing for us don't say oh you know it's christmas we've got family to feed i understand all that but at the same time would you rather not just play for us without really having any money must select at least 15 players pretty sure should already be 15 players selected apparently not come for the narrative evening Dan how are you welcome in Merry Christmas to you too well, we spoke yesterday didn't we Roscoe it's not it's not gonna happen Roscoe it's not gonna happen so close so close, as in we asked about you, and then the, it turned out the answer was, you're going to cost us too much money. Um, that's not going to happen either. Manly's not going to happen. All these guys are free, so... Unless they don't want any money. Han Will Hoft King? I mean, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Han Will Hoft King. Although they're not, they're not going to let him go. Thomas Morgan, we've looked at him a few times. It's not, I don't think it's been the thing, has it? Playing for the badge, not the money. Ex exactly, exactly, that's the thing. Like, you know, you need to think about this, don't you? Show me that you want it. But some of these players, though, they're, they're mercenaries, you know? Absolute mercenaries. Plus, it looks like we've got a good, a good setup coming through as well, by the way. So, youth intake looks like it should be pretty decent. O'Connor and Campbell both want to leave at the end of the year. Oh, excellent. Fine. That makes sense. Again, though, this is this is the thing as well. We can't really... Like, I don't want to go and buy players because even if I could, we don't know what league we're playing in next year. So why tie ourselves down to contracts that we might end up not being able to afford if we get relegated? Or can't afford if we stay up so there's double double whammy there in it and i think that's where we've got an issue is there anything worse than we ever play on a loan they do brilliantly you can't afford to make it permanent <laughs> yeah i get it i get that but then it's but then at the same time you sort of have to be like yeah okay that's fine like it makes it makes sense at least they've done well you know at least you're like, you've done you've got the right guy in We, we can't afford these like we genuinely can't afford these wages 
Uh... Right, here we go then. Us against Crusaders. Let's see what we've got, shall we? Everyone's knackered as well, that's the problem. That we haven't got enough players to rotate the squad, so everyone's playing. They're out of they're out of their morale's low because of the fact that, you know, they're they're sort of like they're not playing well anyway. But at the same time, they're also knackered, so we can't then rotate them out. Oh man. <laughs> just just angered everyone as well. <laughs> oh, it's not often I get myself into a relegation battle and I uh, and I and I make things worse. I normally I come into a relegation battle and I fix things. This one, this one is going to be the uh, oh, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? I've got Suramar on loan. He's scoring a system for fun, but the dude who owns him see him as a key player now. I mean, that, that's that's part of, that's part of the problem in it with a with a loan, I guess. Really, like you're. They're there to give them match day experience and first team football, and I guess you know their their parent club are going to look at that and be like, actually, he looks like he's ready to go now, you know. So it's a double edged sword. Like he either plays really badly and you don't want him back, or he plays really well, and then his parent club want them back, or a, a bigger club wants them. So yeah, it can be can be a bit of a bit of a tricky one. Sometimes it's about playing the long game as well. I just hold now and go like, right, eventually, eventually they'll come back to us. Perhaps you should put a message in a bottle out. Exactly. Friendly ghost. That's what we need to be doing. Not a Taylor Swift reference. Jimmy's back. Welcome back, Jimmy. Brilliant missed header there from our uh, midfielder. Ball's over the top. Oh. a Taylor Swift reference I thought it was a Sting reference <laughs> and I was trying to wrap my brains going at what point did we mention the police or Sting but Curran makes it 1-0 7 minutes in I think we're playing for relegation here folks put all of our eggs into the into the cups okay the false current exactly I think we put all of our everything we possibly have into winning a cup because that's why we've moved here right we know the fact that we know there's a possibility we could come back into the championship anyway okay that's fine but yeah we just need our hands on a trophy the whole point of British Steel is to win the trophies in every league so England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and we're making an absolute meal of it and the longer it goes on the sadder we're all starting to feel <laughs> you know what I mean like that's the thing in it it's just like oh okay shit house the cup get relegated bounce straight back up yeah exactly that's that's what I'm thinking Rajo yeah just win a trophy have the fans being like well you know we weren't expected to stay up anyway he came in he had a tough job to do at least he's won us a cup we can then go do what we need to do as you say bounce straight back up and then we can just sort of like jump somewhere else yeah as friendly saying they yeah, yeah, get then get another job elsewhere how that <laughs> when you looks out you looks out isn't it this deflection man Oh, Laughlin gets his head up. Cross is deflected in. <laughs> Classic James at this point. It is. We've, we've, we've been here before. We know how this is. Might not be the best time to mention. I've got Kettering to the playoffs. Mate, that's, a, that's incredible, Razio. The problem is, is it might be the point where I start going, maybe we go and look at uh, Vanarama National and Vanarama South. Joey Jones. 
comebacks on. So the problem we've got now, of course, is that the Danske Bank Premiership is currently the 65th ranked uh, tournament in the league, in the, uh, in, in, in the competition, in the continent, right? Um, we started in 176th, I believe, I think. So, look, no pressure, just go and do what you need to do. And the Vanarama is fun, but the problem is that we've done Vanarama a lot. And I'm therefore worried that we've sort of already done it. We did it a lot, didn't we? Like, we were there for a long time last year. <clears throat> you know, four years at Brackley. Then we did the York double promotion back to back. Then we did Bolton for a bit. Up into the Nor up into Norwich. And so we sort of like finished last year in, in England. And then the year before obviously was Peterborough. So we did we did Peterborough, did a lot of like England then. Definitely didn't do Scotland. Definitely didn't do Scotland. England is the panic button. It could be, but then is Wales the panic button? Because Wales is like only one promotion spot. Or is Wales just, is Wales chaos season? See, so we've tried Northern Ireland. Let's go to Wales and see what happens. Because the problem is, is that we know we still have to come back to Northern Ireland at some point. Because we didn't win all the trophies in in the uh, in the uh, in the third division I mean it's fun it is fun like Raggio's right it is fun because it's different you know we haven't managed Northern Ireland before like when we did in Indonesia it was fun it was different you know let's see what let's see what we can do I'll try and go wider actually see if we can get a bit of width we are starting to come into the game a little bit more though. Oh, here we go. Convy, Gallagher, Mitchell. Should have laid it off. Oh, can't get through. Wales is good if you want something completely different. It is different, but at the same time, it's like... Is it... It, it is that, it's that worry, though, isn't it? That's just one promotion spot. That's the worry. That's what I, that's what I think is going to be far too, far too tricky for us. Gallagher's not playing well. I'm going to bring Prendergast on. I'm going with it. I'm taking... One of the better strikers off. And hoping that he can do something. Oh, Sullivan's gone round. Blocked. I mean, Wales could be... Wales could be a lot of chaos, which I guess is... sort of what we're here for, right? Go a bit more direct. Let's go wide to take that out there. It's a tough season, might take a tough league, might take a season to build. The players are so bad. You need two or three stars and you're up. There is that. There is that. FM girl managed to crush Wales, didn't she? Plus, of course, you've got that, those the youth intakes are usually pretty good as well. With Brian. I don't know if that's a thing on this game or not. That's whether the youth take intakes are decent, but everyone seems to have pretty good. First seasons at least. Nice ball, well intercepted. We get the ball back up. If we can get the ball back forward, we might have a chance. Ooh. 2 1, right, let's see if we can get this. We are playing high already. Anything we can do? Uh oh. The hood with a wild diving header. If you have a keeper but centre back and a striker, you're good. Youth is crazy in Wales. As other players are so poor. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for that in, in Northern Ireland as well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but sadly that's not quite working out. How did the uh how did that go then? So Banger beat Linfield. <laughs> Jesus. Linfield are just hemorrhaging points, aren't they? Like, it's bad enough that they've lost to us, but then they lost to Banger as well. Like, unbelievable.
Okay. He's not. He's not going to come, is he? There's no way he's coming. I mean, it's, look, M Mullen's being tracked by us and Institute. Institute are like in the third division. We shouldn't be going for those sorts of players, should we? Really? Anyone you can recommend now because you've seen some people. I mean, this guy is useless. Isaac Baird. Tackling nine. Doesn't dive in. Refrains from taking long shots. Dictates tempo. There we go. Zero, please, mate. Can't can't afford you, but just come come on in. See if we can get you. Jay McDonnell. Again. At this point, I think we're just gonna have to just take a punt on players. Like literally very limited scouting. Just get some idea that they're that they have, you know. Alright, these guys have got two feet. Brilliant, that'll do. In you come. Are they any good? Don't know. Have we asked about them? Nah. We're looking for acceleration 13 for a striker with nine composure. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm looking for literally anything. Like, it's to be fair, it's not, it's not really the uh, the striker at the minute. There's my, there's my initial worry. My initial worry is I need midfielders and centre forwards. That's what I need. And I don't think I'm going to get them. Yeah, try and get players in for a trial. Exactly. Corrigan's out of contract now. But also not very good, sadly. Justin Hanks. I mean, that would be a turn up for the books, wouldn't it? Leo Toole. Marking, tackling, positioning. Is he better than what we've got? A centre, what about centre half though? Like he's a full back rather than a centre half. Josh Rooney. Or Josh Ronnie, I should say, sorry. It seems very much like teams in the top division want their wages paid, so that's something that we're not quite familiar with, obviously lower down. Kieran Farron's free agent. But again, we don't have any money. Adam Mullen, who we know very well. Daniel Devlin. Should we get three six months loans from the Premier League clubs? Yeah, we will do. Look at free agents. I think these free agents are going to like cost us money, though. That's the problem. We don't have... I don't know if we're going to be able to get... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's guesswork in it. Like, is there anyone we can get who's a who's a centre midfielder who's gonna be free, who's gonna be decent, who's gonna come in and do what we need? Keen Flanahan can come in for a trial. Danny Jardine. Now we're talking. Look at this. I mean, he's not, he's not really going to be going to be a key to what we're looking for, but Donald Rocks. Dylan Cadgy is one I got. He's on 300 quid a week. £300 a week? Ryan Rainey. Again, I mean, if these guys can come in for like 35 quid or something, that would do. He wanted by... Cork Gary Boylan I guess the only other thing is that we is that we then like you know if things go really badly here we stretch the net a little bit wider and we consider going to uh, to the Republic of Ireland and being like look we said we weren't going to do a British steel challenge let's call it a UK and Ireland challenge and we'll we'll expand the net a little bit further maybe we can go to the, to the southern island 
and do some stuff there. That might work, right? That might work. Might be able to get ourselves out of jail a little bit. Coist Chalmers. Good name. Tane and Kelly. Again, as well, they don't have to be great, do they? They just have to be good enough. That's the problem. TJ McGillie's former Port Downey. Josh Montgomery. Johnny Neal, 12 to 19. What's that for? Determination. Jason McCafferty. What can he do? Passing's not great. Teamwork's fine, though. He works hard. Tackling's not good. Oh, Jason. He's former Bambridge lad. In you come, Jason. Have a go. So you can see that we're like 900 quid over budget at this point. Tom Lavery from Sunderland. Ooh. That could work. Bear in mind, of course, we are in 2027, so he's probably no longer there. He's now at Atherton Collieries. And he's on a non contract, so we can't buy him, but we can look to bring him in on trial, though. So that'd be pretty good. Free, free transfer defenders. Liam McKing, McGing, Aussie centre half Lee Upton. Of course, we uh, released him at Porter Down. Not quite good enough for Porter Down, so maybe we don't bring him up. Stephen O'Donnell, 34. That's the sort of player we need. Formerly of QPR. Jordan Morrison, not quite good enough. We've looked at him before. Ben Hall, tackling, jumping reach. Considering an offer from the from the welders at the minute. Can't even afford that, 180 quid. Dutch defender, Noah Van Gien. Gienen. Get him in. A senior affiliate might help. It might do, Dan, but I think it's going to be incredibly tight to get that done now like and get a decent one and plus as well we've only been here like a few weeks so i can't imagine they're going to give us a uh an affiliate straight away um i could be wrong i could be wrong but i, I, I do think they're gonna they're gonna look at us and be like i mean we're not 100 sure about you to be honest so maybe we're not gonna do that just yet Thomas McGinnis. Now, he obviously appears to have retired in the game, so that's a bit of a shame. Uh, and Uchenna. William Uchenna. Still at Walsall. Ian and Jack Macaroni, how are you? Welcome in. Merry Christmas to you. Hope you're well. Right, so Lavery can't come in on trial. Uchenna's not going to come on trial. Joe Thompson doesn't want to come in on trial. Scott Whiteside will, though. Stephen O'Donnell will. Gary Boylan will. Noah Van Geenen will. Danny Jardine will. Ryan Rainey won't, unfortunately. Kian Flannan will. Liam McGinn won't. Boylan, Jardine, Flanagan. FM is a weird game. Just won 22-0 in a friendly. 
I mean, I need, I need more context than that, don't I, Jack? Like, who are you managing? Who did you play? Give us, give us all the details. Stephen O'Donnell had Jack Grealish in his pocket at Wembley. I think that's the one. It's exactly the one. Playing time, non. Doesn't want any playing time. He wants to be ahead of youth development. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. No, it's a different one. Gary Boylan. Do you want any? Sign uh, Jack Macaroni with a follow. That's very kind. You, you're Roma and you're playing Sarah Chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean like that, yeah, that, that's going to help, isn't it? That's definitely going to help. It's very good, though. Five fifty. We can offer sixty-five. Yeah, I think this is going to be tricky, isn't it? I can't see us unless we can ship some players out. But who's going to want these players? And I don't think adjusting that budget is going to make any difference. It's not, is it, now? Board request, senior affiliate. There you go. I haven't been here long enough for, a, for an affiliate. I didn't think we would do, to be honest. I didn't think that would happen. So, okay. It's not, it's not going to be, it's not, we're not going to have it. Burns not going to join us on loan. I think we, I think we've got what we've got. And I think we're going to have to try and battle bravely. And if we go down, we go down, as long as we go down fighting, We'll be all right, but if we don't go down fighting, then it's yeah. These guys all want all want money, and they all want mandatory fees as well at the end, which sadly we uh, we can't we can't give. You know, Connor Sullivan doesn't quite look good enough yet. Mumford, do you want to come in? So you, even even he wants money. I'm wondering if it's like a an agreement as as part of the league, like you have to have, like you have to pay a mandatory fee. I'm just trying to think like out loud as to why they're all having it. Whereas like it doesn't seem to happen in other leagues, I don't think. You might get the odd one that's been that sort of goes like, yeah, you know, come on, like and then you can obviously stump up as well but this seems to be every player that we've gone for they're wanting a mandatory fee at the end which is fine it's totally fine it just means that we obviously need to start thinking about that in terms of our planning you know and being like okay right what's the DOF suggest the DOF has suggested nobody because he's rubbish <laughs> believe it or not so a bit concerned really about what the DOF is suggesting Yes, you can have that. They want a future fee to buy him back even though we're trying to loan him in. I don't think that makes sense. We've only just we've only just hired him. <laughs> and in terms of the youth system, not yet for any goals. We've moved we've moved what we can into the youth system, like from the youth system, so we've taken players who are like two stars or one and a half star or something. Um so we, we we have moved players in, but there's nothing really that's sort of jumping out at us. Like, yeah, you know, this guy could be decent, but he's a fullback. So that's not exactly handy. Daryl Dillon, he's not a defensive midfielder, is he, sadly? Simon Gracie isn't really anything. So, yeah, so we're sort of stuck a little bit until until we get to... Until we get to the youth intake, which, you know, we'll see. Actually, no, we haven't got a director of youth. It's the it's the assistant manager who's uh, who's still in. 
We need to get that director of football locked down. Faris Khan. McDonald's not coming in. Hale's not coming. Pull back a bit. Match against Carrot Rangers at home. I suppose we need to attack really, don't we, this one, but Toby Crawford's coming in. <laughs> Here we go. Right. If in doubt, go back. What was it Embrace said? Embrace said, come back to what you know. That's what we've done with uh with Crawford. Baffled. <laughs> Baffled by the signing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Baffled is better than no player. Suspended for the next match. <laughs> oh Jesus. Right, Mark Walsh is back. Okay, so he can he can come in. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like this is exactly what we do. It's just peak you're right, peak Jameson, isn't it? Absolute peak Jameson. Look at all these players that need resting as well. Like we we haven't we can't. I'm gonna have to go four two three one, aren't I? I hate four two three one. So we've got six six foreign signings were allowed on loan so Crawford counts as one of them um, yeah we're obviously not going to be able to get it to, well we now have to try and uh, look to bring some more in Ronan Lans, Ronan Wilson's gone to Larton so we can't take him on trial now on loan Thank you for making me feel bad. Don't worry, geezer. Don't worry. This is it's all what I'm here for, right? Alfie Lloyd. Where's Alfie Lloyd? Alfie Lloyd. Currently at Halifax. £1,400. That's... Oof. Yeah, that's, that's far too much for me. Far too much. We haven't got that kind of cash. That's uh, That's big boy money. I think we'd put these as no-nonsense fullbacks, actually. Come on, then. One more time into the breach. Here we go. This like, this is this is bizarre, right? Because we... Uh, when we turned up a porter down, I was like, right, we've got a point to prove. Like, we're okay. Let's go for it, right? Whereas here, it's just like, oh, dear. <laughs> we sort of, like, instantly... We just sort of like walked in like what what are, what are we doing like we don't understand why you gave us the job <laughs> really but you know see what we can do the thing is we know even in my turn of race and welcome in appreciate the raid very kind thank you for that the thing is we know that the fact that we are where we are means that there is like we're not expected to do well right how was your stream by the way my turn hope it was good as you can see we're in a relegation battle now with uh with dungannon we've moved jobs been, we've been we've been promoted in a sense to the uh to the danska bank premiership but for how long we don't know offside it is an offside Oh, I'm really struggling all that. Nothing I try seems to work, although I'm a tactics amateur. I'm a join the club, Barton. 
Great ball. Gallagher's been wide. That was the moment. That was the moment. Oh. They just put it over the top as well. I'll tell you what, maybe it's time to go 4-3-3. Um, let's move them up there like that. See if that works. I mean, it's, it's almost rat formation, isn't it? That we've had one one shot. Um, yes, it's all we can do. Just good luck, good luck, everyone. Keep trying to do what you're doing. Then he puts his phone boys on a yellow card as well. That's, that's not going to help. Okay, inside. Mooney, just, just lay it through. Oof. I thought, I thought he was just going to like just put the ball through there, but no. Went himself, had a shot over the bar. Oh. Oof. It's away. Mitchell floats it in. We're not even getting like our set pieces. Like they benefit from them, which is a shame because we had some pretty tall uh, players in there. I've had a lot of success this year funneling the player in the middle of two DMs. Well, I mean that's that's essentially what we what we're going to try and do when we get. Uh, Crawford back from suspension, I think. Because it goes back to what we had with uh, Bambridge when we uh, we managed to sort of do well with two DMs over the top from McBride. McBride's knackered, actually. I might have to sub him off. Um, let's put Convy on, actually. Play Walsh there. Actually, no. Prendergast is going on instead of Convy. You know, maybe go narrow here. I almost think what we need, we need like a sort of formation where we can stay compact, right? Not necessarily soak up pressure because I don't think we've got the mentality to do that. I know essentially what I'm about to describe is is fluid counter-attack or direct counter-attack, but we need to be able to stay compact, not give the ball away, and then when we have an opportunity, just like be able to quickly fire into and take that chance um, you know if we get the diamond working 4-2-1-2-1 yeah because it looks like we've got it looks like we've got decent wide players I think Prendergast through <laughs> over the top over the top Bird's having a shocker 6-5 and a yellow card game off. Can't have him make a mistake that's going to cost us. Like that, for example. So we're currently sat 4 2 1 3. Prendergast, I'm going to make us a poacher now, actually. Do we start to look to go above balanced? Gallagher got a challenge for that. All was there to be won, wasn't it? There's no one in the middle. Campbell pulls it out wide. Marin inside for Walsh. Oh, the foul will work. That's a penalty, surely. Excellent play. Now we all panic. Mitchell! Andrew Mitchell, the man who we think is pretty much out the door because of like, well, various uh, issues. 
hits it straight at the keeper. The keeper's just... I think he's broken the keeper's wrists. Haaland's now equaled or exceeded the golden boot tally in five Premier League seasons. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Not the best penalty, but it doesn't need to be, does it? It doesn't need to be. It just needs to be a penalty at this point. Um, and the best thing is as well, we can start to move people back now. And do that. Ball at the top, Campbell thinks about it. Well, I'm just worried. Have we uh, have we gone gone defensive too quickly? Oh, it's just gone wide. Not that, as long as it goes in. That's all that matters. That's what she said there. Well, look, we've got. If you've got the, uh, if you're you're a sub, Dan, you've got that. That's what she said. A moment now, use it proudly. Use it proudly. Changes. Prendergast to DLF, I think, at this point. Can we see the game out? If we can, it moves us off the bottom, but still, there's still a long time to go. Get that ball away. Oh, oh is this allowed? Is disallowed. That's two that have been disallowed now. Fucking hell. Why is our defensive line so high? Jesus. I didn't know it was there. That's what she said. There you go. That's a great one. I mean, they're all offside. They're all offside. Three massive points. Massive, massive points. Tell you what, that was huge, wasn't it? That's what she said, there you go. Banger, losing 4-1 to Glen Torren. Balamina lost 2-0 to Crusaders, so again, that helps. So we're back to five points now, the gap between ourselves and uh, Balamina. Who have we got? Is anybody? Is there anybody we can maybe bring in? I love there's a more for now. I had to. I had to have a. And that's what she said. A more. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get one. You know, I used to have the sound clip, and I was like, oh yeah, that'll do. And then I was, and now I'm like, I think we just need to have an more instead. It's definitely been long overdue. Yeah. I think there's a thing of sort of like. Am I this guy? Is this the guy I am? Like, yeah, this is exactly the guy I am. Audrey and Casey. 300 but We haven't got that sort of money. <laughs> we can't, we can't do it. Kim Nelson, please. I know you're reluctant, but let's... I want a Taylor Swift emote. <laughs> We could get that one done, even though I don't. And like I say, that would it would probably be even better because of the fact that I don't know what what you know. I don't know what she looks like, so there's, there's that as an issue as well. Well, actually, no, sorry, no, that's that's not true because of course because you sent a video through yesterday, and you saw so I do know what she looks like now. Before, but yesterday, I, I didn't. I didn't know. Callum Donnelly, possibly. Lewis McKinnon. Again, it's just about bodies, isn't it? It's just about bodies at this point. Can we have anybody in quickly? Sean Murray. Five hundred quid. I, th I think we. I think we tried to get him in, didn't we? Definitely some fitness concerns. Yeah, aware of that. That's fine.
Well played, everyone. Well played. Dust yourselves down. Now we've got another game to go. These games keep coming thick and fast. 3-1 Leeds Man City. There you go. A signing of Toby Crawford. Here we go. I'm keen to get it. Like this is the thing, right? Crawford's either going to be—he's literally going to be incredible or so shit. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I hope he's not so shit. It's unbelievable. I hope he actually knows what. He, I hope he does all right. Desperate for that. Right, gaming. Mooney goes on the bench. At home to banger. Now, do we go all guns blazing and try and, like, hammer them from the start? Because I guess that's kind of like how the... Uh, that's kind of how it ended, wasn't it? John McMullen. What do we think? He's wanted by... He's played one game in the championship. He can tackle. He, can, he can't jump. He's quick. His marking's okay. What do we think, chat? Is it just, is this me just getting a body in? He can't play in the cup either. How's Lewis Maloney look? Didn't buy him, but he was at Porter down. Well, we, we're trying to bring him in on trial actually <laughs> ironically but we uh we can't afford him i think i think it's going to cost us uh yeah we can offer 65 quid he wants 300 so that's not really going to work is it sadly which is a worry um let's delay that because i'm not sure about mcmullen to be honest Just have to cancel that as well. Cancel that. Tom Davies of having Waterlooville. He does look very good. Even though we don't technically need a left back, you can always make space for good players. Although we can't afford it at this point. So let's see. Bycroft unattached goalkeeper. Jack Bridge left winger. Jack Brown, midfielder. Reluctant. Reluctant doesn't mean no, though. In this situation, obviously. Johnny Edge. False nine from Dartford. Now we're talking. Actually, there's a lot to, there's a lot to like about Johnny Edge. Apart from his goal scoring. At 19 years old, he might be all right. I quite like him. The long goal from Brixton. Is that a Christ as in like a good Christ? Friendly ghost? Because I think he's, I think he looks decent. It seems, it seems to have been nerfed against free loans. Only, only just this, like now we've moved into this division like before it was all fine it was all freeze so before that it was it was fine edge does look good doesn't he on this day i see clearly um right what do i want for um oh yeah that's right yeah we almost went for steven glasgow but then he was he wanted like 
he had a sort of different vibe about him, didn't he? Martin Deedy, Dylan O'Shea. What was wrong, Glasgow? The 4 2 3 wide, route one, standard, cautious. Route one, it's fine, get him in. See if he knows anybody. You know, just right, get on the phone. Who have you got? Stephen. Ring around. Make a few phone calls. Let's see what we can do. Max Clueth has gone to Barla. See again, this is the thing when we go to when we go to Wales, we've got the Welsh we've got the Cymru Premier, which is just fun. Let's hit them from the start. Yeah, let's do that. We've got an entirely gassed defense. But we'll try it. Crawford makes his debut. Of course he does. He's back, he's back in the side. We all banger after what happened last time. Right? A win is what we need. Okay, we need to stop them. Two wins in the last five. Desperate for us to get three points here. Desperate. Three points would still not move us out of that relegation playoff, but it would put some daylight between ourselves and Banger. We're in blue, Banger in yellow. See what we've got, shall we? We're starting on a positive mentality. We're starting with three up front, a player just behind. Starting with a midfielder who's essentially been alone with us since the uh, third division of Northern Irish football. <laughs> On loan twice at Banbridge. Didn't manage to get him in at Port Down, sadly. Probably because you're looking at the wrong Crawford, that would explain that. But he's now jumped all the way up to the Danske Bank Premiership, despite playing in the Vanarama, not even playing in the Vanarama National for Hartlepool. He wasn't even getting his game. I've rang him and went, Toby, we're getting the band back together. And he said, yes, Gaffer. Just this defensive line because it's far too high for me. I don't think we, uh, unless we play high and drop off more, maybe we could do that, couldn't we? I'm on the Swifts indeed. Oh, Brian doesn't even challenge for it. Oh, my Brian, get your head on it. This is where we miss players like O'Connor because he, he would have gone for it, but. A while before he comes back. Good challenge by Walsh. Got a bit of a defensive shift in like that. Then gives the ball away. Over the top. The keeper's going to come for it, is he? No, he's not. Are we pushing everyone through the middle? Push them inside, yeah, that's right. And we want to go through the middle as well, don't we? For now. a bit of encouragement because uh, tell them they're doing well oh hang on of course as we say that then of course we can see the chance straight away no, we are playing slow so it's not like we're giving the ball away because we're playing too high tempo we're just it's not doing well Penalty? Oh. What's Jones done? Apparently he's pushed him. <laughs> Great save. Beautiful save. 
Oh, we didn't know it was Ranieri taking the job at Banger and relegating us on the last day of the season. <laughs> yeah, whilst eating a trifle. Oh, Tiramisu, yeah. Well, I haven't, I haven't got anger against Tiramisu, but, I, you know. On Christmas Day, the Italians can have tiramisu for their Christmas Day, that's the thing. Oh yeah, of course he's being racist, of course he is. He's Claudio Ranieri, that's what he does. Right. This high defensive line isn't working. This high level of engagement isn't working. This fancy football we're trying to play isn't working. Let's go a bit more direct. Eva Sports Mad, how are you, buddy? Welcome in, my man. Hope life's treating you good. Hope you got your, hope you got your, uh, your Tony Mowbray revels for Christmas. A lovely Christmas, thank you very much. I missed the... Uh, I don't know if you were in the stream last night. I don't think you were, were you? Um, missed the, uh, I missed the second half of the Sunderland-Blackburn game. So, I missed the, uh, the drama at the end. Typical, isn't it? Kids decided, like, oh, we want to watch, you know, these fucking Russian millionaire, Ukrainian millionaire kids who open Christmas presents in Dubai. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. I've seen that literally for the last seven months. We know exactly what they get. So, yeah, so I missed that. Um, right, at the minute, we need to do a bit more. It shouldn't be a Tony J stream without a let's be a bit more, go a bit more direct. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't for that, then like, what would we do? You'd all worry. You'd all be like, I don't think Tony's really managing this team. <laughs> like, I do think you'd all sit there and think, this is not, this is not it, is it? Um, I hate the fact we've gone 4 2 3 1 as well. PSG just beating Strasbourg after a 96th minute penalty from Mbappe, despite Neymar being sent off for diving. Really? Wow. Scenes. Right, Bird's struggling again, isn't he? We'll have to bring him off. Glenny. Jones. Mitchell's on a yellow card. Still quite a bit of space, isn't there, between the... Uh, between players. Cross comes in, headed away. Really well as well, headed away really well. Are we on regroup or on counter? Mm -mm. Specialised, how are you buddy? I, what, I like the guy who does impressions of Premier League managers. Oh, you like that guy. The guy that does impressions. I don't know. Appreciate you being in the welcoming. <laughs> Three points Monday, so we might be an error and trifle off down Wigan tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> a minted Viennetta for, for Christmas is what we're all about, man. We had, I had a full trifle on stream last night. It was lovely. Full trifle, bottle of Baileys, cracking stream. Um, we have moved again, Sports Mad, and it's been, it's been a weird one. So do you remember when Dungannon beat us 4-1 in, uh, in the cup semi-final? Well, it turned out that match was essentially my job interview, and they said... Oh, he, he seems like a really good manager. Let's get let's get him in. Um, let's get him because we've got a uh, relegation battle on on the go, and we haven't actually won this season. So they figured, yeah, let's get him in. So I've come in, obviously promoted to the Premier League. Uh, we've actually managed to get a couple of wins, and um, we're still we're still struggling. Like it's it's going to be a hard task, hard task, and we're now 
draw a nil-nil with bottom of the table banger and it looks like we're going to concede off the back of a silly standing in possession Crawford's going to get himself sent off on his debut oh Jesus <laughs> um, yeah sorry Specialized I don't know who I don't know who does who does impressions um, but I don't know like I don't know whether I did you say that I sound like him or I look like him or or, or what is it but yeah um Either way, I don't, I don't know. Thumbs up, possibly thumbs down. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, appreciate you being in though. It's a, a kind of link a YouTube video. Uh, we, yeah, we don't we don't we don't have links unfortunately. But um, but you know without you know if he's doing impressions, it's not really the highest form of comedy, is it? Let's let's not be around the bush here. Um, so it's a bit it's a bit of a tricky one that one. But so sorry, did you say sorry? Did you say I look like him or sound like him? I couldn't I couldn't make that one out. So. Died, died out with Mike Yarwood. I don't get that either. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You look like brothers. Oh, okay. Got ya. Got ya. My mistake. But anyway, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you had a lovely Christmas, by the way. It's nice to have you. Don't head that. Just about getting their way. Gets to a point where like we could we could take a point at home against the bottom team and be happy with that, innit? Have we moved clubs again? Yeah, we've literally just 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 uh, just mentioned that Finns actually. Yeah, we um, we got we got a promotion in a sense in the fact that Portadown wasn't going very well. Second season wasn't going particularly well for us. We uh, were floundering a bit, and um, and we started to worry that we'd made, a, made not necessarily made a bad decision to go there, but we were sort of going like oh, the plan to move to Portadown was to win trophies. Got to a semi final of, uh, of the Mid Ulster Cup. Got beat by Dungannon in fact got destroyed by Dungannon 4-1 then we lost 4-1 to uh, to Bambridge and thought oh, maybe it's time to, to walk because things weren't going well um, at that point Dungannon offered us the chance to, to manage them in the Premiership so so we've moved to, to the Northern Irish Premier League Dungannon were bottom of the table at the time they had no, no wins we now have a couple of wins we are just about <laughs> hanging on here against bottom of the table banger in fact we're very much hanging on against bottom of the table banger and uh we are not playing well in fact, we're, in fact we've only got 10 men as well and we've had our new loan signing who we've previously had at Bambridge has been sent off on his debut and we've managed to somehow scrape a, scrape a draw look We'll take that. Respect the point. That's what they say, isn't it? So yeah, we're moving slightly. There you go. In fact, Blumen Ballymena of uh, of of beating Linfield. Everyone's beating Linfield. Linfield are literally throwing it away. Will so <laughs> Will Sword is here. Um, you knew he was trouble when he walked in. Taylor Swift reference. That that's the thing. Shoot, I remember that from yesterday. Um, so we're still we're now five points behind Carrick, who's uh, who've dropped into that position. Oh god, this is just this is torture. <laughs> this is like don't appeal because that was a stupid red card he got on his debut. Um, but yeah, who's your team spiritualized? Spiritualized? Who'd you uh, who'd you follow? Where are you from? How was your Christmas? We sign a new goalkeeper as a priority. I don't know if it's a priority. They're not willing to let him go anyway. I think the priority is uh I missed the World Cup. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no spiritualized. Don't don't do it. Don't say it. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna let him go.
how do you feel about Malcolm McQuinty says he's interested in signing Jamie Brennan I just look put the money in here fans are less than happy with Toby Crawford I mean look okay fine they weren't happy that he was here and also he got sent off on the uh, on his debut I understand it's not ideal and now we're going to have to rest players against Larn because we have to beat Warren Point in the, in the cup final so we've got 10 days to get ourselves ready for that league football doesn't feel the same now I know God, homosexuals are allowed to attend the matches and everything it's terrible isn't it it's just oh, I don't I don't understand why you know but hey ho you know each to their own evening Lee how are you buddy we've had a we've had a lovely Christmas thank you very much very lovely Christmas indeed um, just did all the chilling out stuff got ourselves a bit relaxed we're all fine I think um, yeah we're all right we're good we're good league football feels great so you've just started about a decent 3-0 win I mean no I mean suddenly the one suddenly the one on Boxing Day it's great League football's bad. League fo to be fair, league football didn't really go away if you were, uh, you know, supported like teams in the uh, in the non-league. So it's only if you support in the Premiership that it, that you know football went away. But and even then, it's like football went away many years ago. If you uh, if you think about it like that. Appreciate you, Giza. Right, we're already planning for the final against Warren Point okay I like the guy who got an LGBTQ banner through by saying it was a Cameroon banner <laughs> really I, 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 see the thing is like I I, I didn't get like, I obviously didn't um, didn't go for any of this so again all of this stuff it's all brand new to me like this happened this happened this happened I, I didn't I didn't know so if anything's happened, then yeah, like just okay, I'll, I'll sort of keep my head down about it. But it's um, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, no, don't need to bother with the World Cup. It's been and gone. What World Cup anyway? It wasn't even a World Cup this year. It's all lies. Apologies if I still sound a bit sniffly, by the way. Might as well call me Mark White as I just took a dork into the FA Cup semi-final as a League 2 team. I mean, that that's a thing of beauty, by the way. Uh, Johnny Edge, we're keeping you on the shortlist because there's an issue here where we need you. And Darford, Darford should just let us have you. You know what I mean? Like, come on, make it happen. When's the um it's March, isn't it? We find out about our our new our new players. Right. Cowlin Donnelly from, from Larn. There you go. An extra midfielder. A body is coming in. We have another player. Finally. He's not defensively minded though, that's the problem. He's not a defensive midfielder, but he is a midfielder. We play Larn next, we can't play. <laughs> I beat the British Steel Challenge. So you have to join them. Yeah, you just you just taken Barry. Were you saying there, Owen? Um, welcome in, by the way. Pleasure to have you. Barry Town. They were my team back in FM nineteen, possibly. I loved that. That that was good fun. Really, really good fun. Yeah, we can't afford that. Stephen Glasgow's move is blocked but we're trying to get him in as a director of football so how can it be blocked because we can have a director of football I don't understand yo Yo, 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 it's my guy, it's RDF Tactics. 
the man from the Football Manager Show. Welcome in, buddy. Happy Christmas. Hope you are well. Did we get Champions League football with Norwich tonight? Did we have a rage on? I promise wouldn't make any staff changes. Ah, is that a thing, is it? Is that where the problem is? That probably makes sense then. That does make more sense. Welcome in everyone, by the way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But we have just we've just signed a scout though, so that seems really bizarre that we're able to do that. Um so yeah, you've all joined at a very, very critical time. Very critical time. Okay. We are second bottom in the Danske Bank Premiership of Northern Ireland. We've just taken charge of Dungannon about what, 10 games ago now or something? Here, Ballymena. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 games actually. Behind. Um, it's not going great, to be honest. We now have to play Larn, who are second, but we have to throw that match because we were in a final, the Middlestar Cup final, against Warren Point six days after it. And I don't know if we have enough time to get everyone back up to speed, you know? Um, job stable because they're expecting us to attempt to avoid being relegated, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Support, however, might be a little bit more concerned. If you had a beer, because they should let you sign it. I, I thought that. I thought that. Because they let me put the advert, advert up. So... I don't understand. I don't get why it's not going to work, but... Fair enough. I might try and do it again, actually. See if we can get a... Can we... Put a thing out for a... For a director of football? Because it does say there. I might have to, to scout through then. Or is it because I've got two... Is it because I've now got two scouts? I'm finding FM really hard this year. Mate, join the club. Join the club. We're making it look incredibly difficult. I got manager of the month in my first month in charge. I mean, there you go. Like, so, yeah, so there's two ways to look at it. Either football manager is really difficult or football manager is really, really easy. So that's the two ways. But... As you all know, though, I like the fact it's difficult. I like that. It makes it a bit more challenging. Um, it feels more difficult this year. It feels like... What it feels like, right, is it feels like you have to earn your wins this year, right? That's what it feels like. It feels like you have to earn your wins. And when you win, oh, it's worth it. Oh, it's worth it. But until that point, it just feels like, it just, it just feels like you're not in control. Like, it doesn't feel like there's any sort of like rhyme or reason as to what's going on. I don't have attribute masking on. I mean, there's your first problem. There's your first problem, you know what I mean? Like, if you've got that, like, if you're not going to have to be masking on, then, then instantly you've got something that makes things much easier. And probably should just do that. You know, we should probably do that, to be honest, but... Um, right. Let's have a go. We're going to... We'll try a... Uh... We'll try a diamond against Porter Down. Sorry, not Porter Down. Lan. See what they say. I don't know whether last year felt more consistent or whether last year was just a case of once you got a tactic that worked, you could run with it for a while. Whereas this one, as we know by speaking to, to some members of SI, they want you to engage more with the game. They want you to sort of like take each match as a case of like, well, you know, right, we're playing long. We're going to go a bit more defensive, which we probably should have done, to be honest, rather than going like, okay, let's leave ourselves exposed in the middle. You know, push on in certain moments. Learn when to sort of use your, your your pressing traps and stuff. You know, learn when to look at that momentum swing. We say, we always say, it, it feels like PvP. You know, and that's sort of where we are with it. 
And I think that that's that's a good thing, right? Because it just means, especially when we're doing these sorts of saves, that it, that it does make sense. And it like it means that when we do win, we actually feel like we've earned it. You know, 30 seconds in, we've had the football. I'm well happy with that. Of course, we know that the rest of it is now downhill. Greenlee, we used to have him at Porter Down. Sold him, remember? Sula, what a... <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, dear. It's taken less than a minute, and we're already a goal down. <laughs> Hell of a strike, though. Absolute. I mean, you can tell he's why he's in one of the one of the top teams. I'm going to make a comment here. I don't think this Dungannon team are going to come straight back up. I think we need to strip everything down again and do a complete rebuild on it. Alex Rogers, what was that about earning wins? Well, this this is the thing. What I've said was, if you earn wins, like you feel as you have physically earned it, we are on really poor form. So. If we get anything out of this game, it's going to feel like an achievement. Oof. You know? I mean, I, I get the feeling that we've probably not got one eye on the cup final at this point. They don't only score bangers, don't they just? A third there, to be honest. Right, I'll tell you what, let's let's tweak something up because it's not it's not like there's anything we can sort of do to stop a goal like that. Because you know, touch of class, brilliant. Then of course, great free kick. Right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna have to go back into that double DM. He can't really play there, but he's gonna have to go there. Um, You think take a barrel looks similar to the one you had at Bambridge? See, the thing is, we're expecting to get a decent youth intake here as well. Um, closing Sula down might help. It might do, actually. But then he's their defensive midfielder, so it's like closing him down. He's not even expected to be here. Double Mazala in the midfield, that's the problem. They're going to be making space for him to run into, so... We have to keep these two quiet. That's why they're there. Um, you know, apart from the apart from the goal, I don't know what else he's done. I'm about to say that as he's going to, uh, you know, smashing in an absolute thunder bastard again, isn't it? Let's give the ball away. Oh, come on, come on! <laughs> How are we giving the ball away there? Right. It's narrow that, isn't it? That's narrow. We've got ourselves lucky. It's a it's a good goal, isn't it? But what do you mean, winger on attack or winger on? It was a shadow striker, actually. See if that helps. AP. Mm. I'll tell you what, maybe we just need to regroup as well, don't we? Both AMs on support. I only got one AM on support. I mean, these guys. I have to move that from cautious as well. Actually, go balanced. Try and get something. That's Walsh away. 
in the change. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got ourselves up. That was that was that was something. Evening RC, how are you buddy? Welcome in, welcome in. By the way, if you're coming from my RDF stream, by the way, feel free to drop a follow on the uh, on the channel. I'm sure, of course, you already follow the Football Manager Show. If you don't, how not? How not? Obviously, we're on our Christmas break at the minute, so we'll be back in the new year. We'll indeed get some more water on there as well. Strikers with actual attributes. Come on, Owen, that's cheating. That's cheating. We've got one of our main strikers out injured. We've got our new Lawney defensive midfielder. Oh! oh. Three, three worldies. You can't defend against that. That's, that's just brilliant. What a ball that is. And then that. If you're going to lose, you might as well lose like that. You know what I mean? Oh. They're going for the title. And we... I mean, who, who wants to play in the cup final is the question. Like, which of my players want to play in the cup final? And I, I couldn't tell you right now. I really couldn't tell you. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Again, though, we're just we're just tweaking. There's no, there's no, there's no system. There's no plan, is it? It's just tweak around, see what we can do. I mean, in hindsight, should I have just, if we're going to lose three 0 should I have just played a second string team? Do you know what I mean? And saved players for for the uh, for the final. Half back in Segunda Volante. Why not? Why not? Does it even does it even matter at this point? <laughs> no, it doesn't. You know, give them all crazy instructions. Give them things that they're not going to do. Mitchell's going to get himself sent off a bit, isn't he? Walsh Black. Nice ball for Gallagher. Oh. Oh. So apparently that goal, that physical goal there can stop the ball going in. Who'd have thought? In the first half it couldn't. I mean, this is the moment we start getting some chances and we're just... It just makes no sense, does it? it makes no sense. I thought they were going to score again there. Uh, let's bring with Brian off because I'm going to need... I'm going to need him for the final. And I'm going to need Bird as well. Gallagher doesn't like someone in the crowd. Yeah, he's pretty much killed him, hasn't he? 3-0 against Lon. We're going we're gonna to be playing players who are knackered. If there's players who are like coming back almost from injury, if if O'Connor... Is it O'Connor? I think it's O'Connor, isn't it? If he's walking, even if it's on one leg, he is going to... He's playing in the final. Like, there's no two ways about it. That's definitely happening. Is my um, is my camera looking a little bit more more orangey? By the way, at this point, it's a bad time to ask about the question. I've got is my white balance correct on the camera? But I'm just I've, the game isn't working for me, so I might as well just try other things. <laughs> you know. I mean, to be fair. This has been a better second half. Good ball on the top. Gallagher's there. We can score. 
that may help in the uh, in the long run, possibly. Goal difference could come into play. <laughs> don't know how bad things are going to get if uh, don't know how bad it's going to get if we uh, if we need goal difference. If we win the final, does it get you into Europe? That's a good question. I don't think so. White balance is a bit off. That's what I was thinking. Oh, hang on. 3 2. Set the camera to come to overhand it. <laughs> oh, the Irish Cup does it. Okay. That's the one that we need, then, is it? But we do have this thing, though, of like sort of being. As long as we can get in. And Kang in with the four months. Appreciate you, Kang. Pleasure to have you in. Hope I was treating you good, buddy. Just over the bar, though. We're probably not going to do it, are we? Is there any chance we can get one final effort? I doubt it. They're just they're going to kill us at this point, aren't they? Get the ball down the line. There's nobody there. Have we got time to move everybody forward? In fact, we don't even need to because it's, it's sort of, in a way, it sort of worked. Yeah. But remember, I have said though, though, friendly, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to play asymmetric this year because I know that asymmetric definitely works, as we've just proven. Yeah. But those changes definitely helped. Definitely helped. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we just have to let go of any any sort of slight issues that we uh we had previously it'd be like just have to go with it don't we the halfback give a bit more defensive stability halfback looked good actually halfback did look good um, Evan Tweed's a winger bed tried all these players Halfback combo is nuts. Yes, yeah, that's the thing. See, I'd, that's the problem. Like, if, if it if it if we know it works, it's like it's a bit it's a bit like it's a bit cheating, isn't it? Like, how many how many real real players, real teams do you sort of like here going right? So you're going to play Secundo Valante today, and they're going, well, am I really? Oh, that's interesting. Like, you know, what does that even mean, boss? Like, but you're right. Like, you know, the combos do work. Um, do we have to do just some of that just to get things working? Maybe. Am I learning anything about the game? No. Do I have to swallow a little bit of pride and just accept that that might be how it's going to have to be? Yes. O'Connor's not back for another five weeks. I expect it to be out between nine days and five weeks. Right, when's the cup final? 26 the 19th he's not going to make it is he oh see I'm worried because part of me thinks well do I just go back to what worked last year and plug the ice ice baby in because that, that would clearly just work you know like if you think about it if we were to roll that load that in right okay so that is how it worked last year that would work again in this match engine basically She only have better, better players you can mess around with formations. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. 
Um, it's just that at the minute we're probably going to have to. Barry attack is already providing good partnerships after a month of the job. If you want to try it at Barry, I mean, right, let's so um, Crawford's back, right. If that's what we want to do, then right, we'll go half back and we'll go Volante. Okay, we'll do that. Just need to get something on the board, to be honest. Right, that worked. That worked fine in the second half, so. Let's try that in. Double O Steve, appreciate the follow. Very kind. Agnew for money, maybe? Mooney? Uh, Donnelly can come in, actually. There's a point. This, this would be a great moment for Donnelly to come in and like sort of just suddenly be the guy. So sort of like, go right, look, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna come in, okay? You're straight in. Straight in. <coughs> wrong wrong sides as well there, so he's got a player. Who, who plays in the last match? How does it finish? Mitchell Agnew. Is it Agnew that dropped in? It might have been, or Black possibly. Where's Lee Black gone? Got some, got some issues now, haven't we? Got some issues. I almost feel like Crawford deserves to just go straight in. <laughs> like he's just got to make it up in the final, has he? Got to make it up to everybody. Um, Campbell can come in. But Brian on the bench. Oh, we're really, we're really struggling for options here. Really struggling. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm going to put him on the bench just in case, but I don't think he's going to, going to get there. Is there an option of giving him like a painkilling injection before we, uh, to help speed this up? There isn't, is there? I'll tell you what, let's give everyone some, some rest as well. We haven't really got time for that, but. What's the training schedule look like? Can't even rest them. Oh. <laughs> They're just going to be knackered come the uh, come the time of the final. Boylan, did we try and get you in? Oh, you're out of contract. You're not going to sign, are you? going to cost more than 60 quid a week. Yeah, not happening. Don't want him. He's a He's not he's not the, he's not the one. He's not the one. Bodies. We need bodies in. How do we get bodies in? Who aren't going to cost anything. Where do very, very good young players who don't cost anything live? 500 quid, he's not gonna come in, is he? Again, 
any chance you would take 60 600 pound it's not a thing that Connor Dixon will keep you on the shortlist maybe for the next season but too expensive too we're not going to get McGinty doesn't fancy it Ronnie isn't going to be a thing Hanks we're not expected to be allowed to go back to uh, get anybody from um, from Porter Down I don't think anyone listed for loan well we've, we've, that's that's what exactly what we've been trying to do we've been going through the loan list and there's there's not a great deal to be honest um, it's going to be taking a guess more than anything and there's James Walker nah, he's not as good as the uh... actually you know maybe he could play behind he's not as good as the edge Lewis Dunn Teddy Rowe He is quick. He's very quick. So he's on the short list. He's out of contract in the, the season as well, so that also helps. Let's see if there's anybody back on the old loans there. Revenel Genders. 17 years old. Because our midfield is all set up. Alex Nolan, we don't really know a great deal about. Looks like more of an attacking midfielder. Connor Doty. Don't know much about him. Joe Kelly. No idea. Keen Dillon. He's not really he's not really doing it for me, to be honest. McGinnis isn't really good enough. Keen Kelly. Not good enough. Gareth Fisher. Fish is potentially an option. No wages. There you go. In you come, Gareth Fisher. You can be the guy. Robbie Robinson. Lee Heaney. Lewis Williams. We're literally just going to click everybody on the vague hope that there's going to be somebody who's there who doesn't actually need to be paid. We're doing this. We're doing this the budget way. Michael McNally. Jackie Clark. He's got decent enough attributes, but maybe not good enough. Henderson, not so much. McGee, not really a thing. Connor Davidson, nothing jumping out. I mean, the issue that we don't know anything about these players as well is like concerning, but also has that extra sort of like well we'll see you know it could be either a stroke of genius or a stroke of absolute stupidity and we don't know either way at this point as to what's what and i think that's what adds the uh, excitement to it albert boobia great name Rury close. No joy. Would you like to create this as a as a search? Yes. Right. What's that say about him there, sorry? Unable to gain automatic qualification, doesn't have the required points. Excellent. Of nine. Is this guy good enough? Tackling of nine, teamwork of 16, marking of nine, work rate of 12, jump and reach of 13. Is he good enough? That's the. He's probably a backup, isn't he? He's not really good enough to be a first teamer, I don't think. McLaughlin, 17 years old. Probably already better than the uh, under six foot. Good point. Julian Oated. He's under six foot. We don't need him. You know, we're growing giants around. We're growing, growing them big in this field. That's what we want. Farm boys. Um. Right. 
is there a striker who's available? We could get the people's elbow back. Romeo Akachukwu finishing 12 to 16 acceleration off the ball. Pretty decent. Hasn't scored a goal yet, though. So that's a bit worrying. Hjog van Poulsen. Faroe Islands. Dylan Atanda. I think we had a look at him before. Didn't we? Chris Mooney, we've seen before. Matthew Kinsby. Is a centre forward what you need, really? I know they're saying, you know, you need to win, you need to score goals to win games, but. We do have a guy coming back eventually. Double A battery, welcome in, appreciate the raid. How's your stream? You're uh, you're here at a good time. You're here at a good time. We're trying to plan for the Middlestar Cup final. Uh, the reason that we're saying we're trying to plan is because we don't have good enough players we're on a bit of a losing streak um, things aren't going particularly well but somehow we are in a final and it happened before we turned up so we can't take any of the credit but at the same time we'll absolutely be trying to take the credit if we uh, if we somehow win it make any of these bids happen can we it's just not going to happen steam went well managing in Hong Kong as part of a Pentagon being sacked for the second time after an awful run doing well currently in the second division oh good work good work Pentagon's a great great challenge Audrin Smith could he come back could that be the could that be the, the story for him no because they don't want him to come back Dean Waters. It's not a guy. He's not a guy either. I just think we're going to end. I think we're going to stumble into the final. We're going to have to hope. We're going to have to hope. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's let's hope that there's a bit of a. Oh, that's that's right. It is the white balance. The white balance is way off. There we go. That's the trouble. Right. There fixed better. Issues addressed now. Surely we can play properly now. <laughs> is that a, is that a collection of straws for me to clutch at by any chance? I think it might just be three thousand pounds. I don't think so. Any chance our alleged director of football has now looked at the loan market? No. 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 Oh dear. So Gareth Fish is an option. Can we get him in before the cup final? Don't think so. Ethan Simpson. I mean, he's, he's at Log. He's at Log Hall. We won't be getting him. There's a there's a rivalry there. That's uh, that's not going to be. They're not going to obviously want to to make that one happen. So Lynch isn't going to happen. Dooley's not going to happen. Warren Point, that's the cup final. Okay then, chat. This is how it's going to be. New poll. Cup final. Winners, losers.
there you go. Ease expectations by telling them to enjoy themselves. But would the filter work though? Without any uh any sort of I don't know who's this guy? Oliver Turner. Oxford City. Even he can't come. Cameron Cooper. Out of contract. Josh Stewart from Spennymore. They're not even going to let him come. I mean, where are, where, where are we? Where are we with our lives? Where's scouted players? There we go. He's free, so he's not going to get him. Jake Corbett. He's a fullback. Probably not good enough. Put a down player. <laughs> Should try Ben Garung. Too expensive. Ethan Souza. I think we tried to get him, didn't we? Mervyn McStravick. What a name. An overwage budget, not promising. No, no, it's terrible. It's a terrible idea. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with uh, trying to convince players to, to come in on a free. It's not going to be a thing, is it? This is the trouble. We're literally sort of like hoping for the best. And I think there's been a few players that we've sort of like, we've looked at and we've been like, oh, is this guy? And then like, we've sort of all agreed that maybe not, but maybe now we have to sort of change our, change our view a little bit and maybe look at it and go, maybe, maybe. Well, didn't think he was the guy, but maybe he is the guy now. You know, players like McGinley, like obviously not someone that we really look at, but yeah, I think we're stuck with what we got as well. <laughs> I think we really are. And that and that's worrying, right? That's really worrying. We're now sort of in that position where it's like, yeah, this is what we've got, this is where we're gonna be. Like, okay. If we can stay up, brilliant. We're gonna lose players at the end of the season because they're out of contract. That's fine. In that event, in that eventuality, we then sort of dust ourselves down and go, okay, fair enough, let's let's move on, let's sort of see what we can do. We know we're not expected to, to stay in the division, so that's fine. Just have a go. That's all we can do, have a go. You know, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, not a problem. George Burroughs is, uh, is wanted by Crusaders. Porter down, don't want him to come at the minute. Understandable. Kieran Evans, we can't get either. Joe Manley, we've tried so many times. They're still going to want to steal money from us. Harry Sharvin's out of contract, so he's not an option. John McGivens, not good enough. Sam Cowan isn't really much better. Richardson wasn't great. Robin McDermott's out of contract. I think this is what we've got. I think this is where we are. And this is how it's going to be. Is it going to be good enough? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's only one, more, one way to find out, and it's not. It's not going to be pleasant, is it? Here we go, then. Cut final time. Everyone happy? Everyone ready? Have we all got our suits on? Apart from me. So this is the Euro Electrics Mid Ulster Cup. Dungan and Swifts versus Warren Point. The music needs changing, by the way, because this is a little bit too Enya uh, at this point. Okay. Are we going to change from Enya, possibly? Oh, yeah, all right. Okay, that's a little bit more, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the Believes going. Get the Believes in the chat. That'll do. Enya and Ireland does sound 
pretty much all right. I get that. Actually. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. So the Swifts have never won it. Right, we've never won the trophy here. This will be the first time. Warren Point have won it twice. 442 Magazine want more from Gallagher. I mean, that's fine, but maybe don't. Maybe don't go for it now. We're not holding a team meeting. That doesn't seem a good idea, does it? Like, we need to avoid any sort of team meetings. Or we just ease the pressure on them at this point. But look, everyone's hyped now. Don't pay attention. No one expects anything. If we're great to win, if just do ourselves justice, that's what we're going to go for, isn't it? This one here. Be proud of, re of reaching the final. Warren Point is almost a Leinster possible disqualification. Ease the pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this one or this one? This one or this one? Everyone's going to be hyping the match. Proud of reaching the final. There we go. Yes, they're happy. Outstretched arms. That's the reaction we're looking for. Let's go. Park that bus. Right? Don't want to do anything else. Okay? Build up to the cup final. There are only a handful of teams that ever managed to claim back-to-back -back triumphs. We're obviously... Oh, we are the current holders. There you go. Frustrate encounter. Yeah, absolutely. shit house we can do shit house we can do shit house O'Connor's oh, gonna miss out I think O'Connor's gonna miss out quite sad about that in fact, I'm very sad about that so we played Dundella will play Ards or Dungannon in the second round of the uh of the cup that's fine oh god the board are expecting us to win <laughs> this can't be good and the supporters expect us to win just putting it into the discord at this point like this is the expectations of the board and the and the fans and this is what they've got since we've taken over. No pressure, lads. What's that? Are they disappointed? Job's insecure? How? The expectation is to avoid relegation from the Premier League. Like, that's, that's all it is. Fans not happy. I mean, this is not... This hasn't worked well, has it? <laughs> but, but the board thing have done an excellent job in the transfer market. Oh dear. Why did I look? Why did I look? <laughs> and the chat are expecting. Let's just, should we quickly have a little look and see if there's anything in Wales? <laughs> just gonna have a little, little nosy around to see what's going on, right? Kevin Druids, Blenavon Blues, Distillery. We could go back down to the third division if needs be. Um, let's just take these ones off here. So don't want that, 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 that. Right, okay, let's just keep those there so we can only see uh, jobs that are available um, in those ones. So actually, let's reset that. So I only want to see these jobs. None of that, 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 none of that. Yeah, I think this is probably fine at this point. It's probably fine probably fine there's there's nothing that we can really worry about at this point i'm guessing it's just it's all or nothing dungannon can't believe it we, we got we got ourselves into a situation where it was like this is wonderful <laughs> oh this has backfired horrendously gareth fish has signed is he going to be put straight into the cup final squad <laughs> It's another player that they don't like. <laughs> oh, God.
God. <laughs> I, think, I think we are going to the valleys, aren't we? Absolutely going to the valleys. Right, cautious. O'Connor's going to miss out by a couple of weeks. Prendergast going to have to be in there. Oh, just, I think it's going to have to happen here, lads. This is like... But I think this is like part of... This is the whole thing with, with this sort of challenge, isn't it? It's like, turn up, have a little go, see what happens. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Move on. Um... Tell you what, let's try Campbell up top. Let's start with McBreen. At least we've then got a, a physical presence. Okay, do another move again. But Daddy, I've just started a new school. You'll make new friends. <laughs> You'll make new friends. It'll be fine. Don't worry. All right. I hate this, I hate this, <laughs> this whole asymmetric again. Right. Disciplined, play for set pieces, we're playing narrow football. Come on then, let's just see what we can do. It's a cup final. Magic can happen at any moment. Play our natural game. Nobody cares. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Nobody gives a single fuck. <laughs> One win in our last five. Let's do this. Okay. Now's the time. Now's the time. They're playing 4-4-2. We should be playing 4-4-2. What are we doing playing asymmetric football? Players are coming out. I've got my suit on. Their opposition manager is wearing a track suit. You know what I mean? This is the moment I knew. Is that is that another reference? It sounds like a reference. Our white balance is set properly now as well, so maybe that'll help. Is it Windsor Park? No, I think it's. I think we're. I think. I, I genuinely think we're playing at home. I almost feel like we've had a like, home field advantage. Donnelly. Oh, hang on, the ball's at the top. Campbell. He's taking it wide. Pull it back. Oh. Hang on. What's happening here? What is happening here? We've only gone taking the lead. <clears throat> Kids, leave the bags at the bottom of the stairs. Don't start the car just yet. It's a lot of football still. We shouldn't have taken the lead after five minutes. That's That seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> seems like a really bad idea. I mean, like, if we'd have scored like in the 85th minute, I'd have been a bit more like, okay, that's that's reasonable. But just... oh, 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 volleyed over the top. I, I didn't even praise them because, like, the last time I praised some players, it all backfired. That's right, just. Make them take their shots from the edge of the area, that's fine. Keep them out of the box, that's what I'm going to do, keep them out of the box. Yes, Marciano, good time to get some hydration on board. I appreciate that, hope you're well by the way, Merry Christmas. Ball through again, hang on. Donnelly's through, gets past the tackle. Two attacks, two attacks we've had. This is not this is not the game plan. How come there's only 16 minutes played? 
Oh, come on. Oh, Walsh has got the ball again. Donnelly. He's running the... Running into the channels. Don't run into players, run into the channels. And Brian. Inside, can't get there. No positive. We've got enough of the ball in a minute. Offside, I think. I think we're offside. This is positive. Ghost. It seems like a big jump, though, from cautious to positive. I understand the idea, though, but... I don't like it. I don't like it. Drop a bit of encouragement on them as well. They're upset. They're upset. <laughs> oh, I'm ball through. Oh, need to look up. Look up and cut it back. We could have scored then. Drop the defensive line. I think we've got it as low as we have, and we've got it on drop off as well. So. At least I think we have. Yeah, yeah, lower and drop off more as well. So, we can't really get much lower than that, sadly. Unless we turn our centre-backs to cover, maybe? Would that work? Never encourage, never praise. Oh, great effort. Hell of a save by the keeper. We might change the thing. Hello, Nelios Bambelios. You have joined at a time, haven't you? Hope you're well. We are currently 1-0 um, up in the final of the Middles to Cup. Now, don't say it too loudly. Leclosians just said that they were playing well. Maybe this is now time for 9-0-1. Absolutely. Well, I've gone back to cautious, so I've set ourselves defensive again. You know, if needs be, we can drop Donnelly back. We don't need an AM. Oh, hang on. Almost creating a bit of a bit of something there. That shouldn't have happened. This is as well as we played. This is as well as we played since we've joined, I think. To be honest, even and that includes the win against Linfield. This has been the uh, even now. Oh, hang on. He's turned him. Oh. Moan Arette, welcome in, you're new, you tuned in, this is, and from here you're bossing this game. Right, hold that thought. Mitchell with a corner. Floats it in, Bird gets his head on it. Right, Moan Arette, this doesn't normally happen, okay? <laughs> this doesn't normally happen, normally we struggle, right? You've just joined us, we're actually currently an E rating for how bad things are going in the league. We're bottom of the table. We're expected to be relegated. Or at least battle against relegation, I think. Battle probably is more um, more accurate than be relegated. This is a... Oof. I see why you're edgy not getting the second. 100%. Tony is Mr. Perfectly fine right now. Reference? Reference, maybe. Might be a reference. 75 minutes, defensive, lock everything down. Yeah, I don't like the idea of positive. It's it's a little bit too too much for me. It is a reference. There you go, look at that, I got it. I think it's time for Donnelly to drop back into the midfield. Campbell, taking it forward. Oh! Right, I'll tell you what. McBrien out wide is working well. Gallagher's obviously on the bench. Moon, Donnelly, I think we drop in the central mid at this point now. Just kind of showing ourselves up a smidge. But Brian's having a great time. I don't want to bring him off, but he is tiring. And obviously we need to keep our eyes on uh, on our centre halves as well. A struggle now, maybe. I think I agree. Yeah, I know what you mean because there's obviously there's no out point, so. We can always move him back in five minutes if it doesn't look like he's going to be... It's going to work. Yeah, that does look, there's a gap, doesn't it? Okay, you can go back there. You can go back. Again, it's that whole thing about the match engine, isn't it? Like, you know, knowing, knowing that certain bits work. Oh, Jesus, what about that? What was that? Unbelievable. Right. 
I don't want to say anything to the team either because that's not going to make things better. Oh, no, Birds. Oh. Birds on a 7.6. He's having a great game. Plenty revenue. We've got fullbacks on the bench. Evening restaurant. Welcome in. You've joined. You've joined at a very good time. Can we tell the team to focus? Will they do that? Is that going to piss them off as well? Over the top. Campbell's on it. Oh. Tell you what, can uh I don't know if we bring make a change, bring Mooney on maybe? Do we bring anybody on or do we just leave it as it is? It's literally just like a bit a bit sort of rabbit in the headlights at this point. I think, we've got, I think we've got it cleared. Right, time wasting goes on now. Free kick, Mitchell. Floor to the back post, Bird's got it. It's cleared. What's he trying to do? Pirouetting and Cruyff turning there. Walsh. Oh! <laughs> McBride's only gone and done it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I tell you what, Walsh has been superb these last few games. What a ball that is. I told you it was the white balance, wasn't it? That's what it was. Get yourselves ready, okay? Because I think we're about to lift a trophy. I think. Sweeter than fiction, rabbit in the headlights. I've got, I, I don't get any of this. <laughs> but I feel like now's the time to hand our resignation in at Dungan. <laughs> yes. We've only gone and won a bloody trophy, and it's an actual one as well. In while the fans are still unhappy. I know. The perfect way of doing it, isn't it? Get in there when they're not, when they're not, they think, get the Viennettes out. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, the move was worth it. Absolutely. You've come in at the right time. Absolutely. Can't believe it. We've won something. Cross it off the list. Here we go. Arms in the air. Final. We've achieved it. We've won. Trophy. In the bag. Dungannon. Done. In style, Rich. In style. Hard mind. <laughs> Welcome, Black Dog. Appreciate you coming in. You've joined at the perfect moment. Mad Sightness has joined at the perfect moment as well. Welcome in to everybody, of course, by the way, who's uh, who has just witnessed history. History. <laughs> Absolute history. Um, there you go. What about that? Comprehensive. Beautiful. The dreams of the middles to cup, the Euro Electrics trophy. I think you'll find we've uh, we've we've got that in the uh, trophy cabinet now. So excellent. That's gonna. I'm just gonna quickly jump onto the old uh, graphics thing here, by the way, and see if I can update this while we're doing it, because uh, we can take something off and we can now sort of like go. Is it worth leaving Northern Ireland for a little bit? I don't think it's to be the worst idea to leave. <laughs> Let's have a quick little look. I'm just trying to make sure that all these uh, colours match up, of course, because that's the last thing we want to do is uh, is sort of get our, get our colours wrong, right? Otherwise, the picture's going to look awful. You know, so I just have to say season five. Three trophies of 33 now, so we're 10% of the way through. So it's this challenge pretty much does itself right now. Yeah, this is easy. Yeah, let me quickly, let me quickly, let me quickly have a little look, right? This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna quickly switch over. 
So two seconds. That's where we are now, but I'm going to quickly change it because that's wrong. That says two trophies. This now says three trophies. There we go. Victory, 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 victory. Are the boards still unhappy? Good question. Oh, look at that. Now they're happy. Oh, giving us a D rating. Pathetic. You know what I mean? Challenge for the middles to cup, win the middles to cup is what we've done. Literally, they knocked us out when we were ported down manager. We've come here and we've won the trophy. And they're still going, I mean, yeah, okay, fine, you won a trophy, but it's not that kind of job around here. Like, come on. Come on, Doug Gallon Swifts. Genuinely couldn't care less, could they? Disappointed with the lack of progress. Like, I mean, what, what, did you have too many trophies in your cabinet before? Was that the problem? Was it? You know, I'm going I'm to screenshot this bit as well. This is the bit. Right. Can't please anybody, can you? Can't please anyone. <laughs> Win them a trophy and they're still a bit like, oh, yeah, whatevs. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. Obviously, the fact that we could still get relegated is, is an issue, <laughs> I guess. Um, was all the brass all you had to buy eating in your wage budget? We haven't, we haven't even, yeah, we haven't like paid a thing. Like, have these people started like, have they, did, have they already paid for um, for medals? Is that why my, where my wage budget's gone? Because that would probably make sense. Jimmy, if you've just, if you've just come back now, mate, you literally needed to be here five minutes ago. <laughs> Because we've just we've just won a trophy. Understandably, well, bizarrely, we've just won a trophy. So we can tick that one off the list as part of the uh, as part of the British Steel Challenge. Now, let's quickly have a little nosy around at what's available. Distillery in the third division of Northern Irish football. That could I mean that could be there's narrative right there in it. We could go back to the bottom of Northern. <laughs> start again <laughs> work our way back up uh kevin druids in cumry north are currently nine it's gonna be a long way up there there's only one promotion spot tony remember that there's no there's only one promotion spot in wales tony you have no idea my problems reintegrating messi back to barcelona age 38 <laughs> Ooh. oof oof Hayes and Yedding. I mean, that's two jobs to manage, isn't it? Santander are decent for a bank team, but not very British. Yeah, I need to turn the uh, turn that, div that division off, don't I? Uh, that's it there. So, yeah. Right. I should get rid of the Spanish team, shouldn't it? Yeah. Um, the Blenavon Blues... Sounds like, a, sounds like a song, doesn't it? I'm going to play the Blair Evan Blues. Lando Junction. Where's Lando Junction? Are they still around? Dulwich Hamlet. Bottom of the Vanarama National. They're going down. Dulwich Hamlet could be pretty good. I think they'd get involved in the stream as well. Like if we, we, could, we could tag them in, they'd probably get involved in it. I know it means going to England earlier than we'd hoped for. But we might have to. Colwyn Bay. They are morally good. I like, and, and they, they had the thing with Peter Crouch as well. So we like Dulwich Hamlets. You know, they're good people. We like them. Truro. I mean, that's way down south, isn't it? Nothing in Scotland. Kilmarnock. Probably a bit too high at this point. Rogi would love it though. If we get the Killy job, that would be 
they'd be over the moon. Ruggie would love that. But I think, again, I think SPL is probably a little bit too high uh, to jump to. Togo isn't quite uh, Ross County. Again, Championship, Premiership, sorry, Livingston's Premiership. And they're all stable. To be honest, we wouldn't get any of those at this point. So, yeah, there's a, a little bit. There's There's options, but again, not many options, really. So... We'll keep it where we are, shall we? If you go to England, your rep will increase quicker and you can hand pick jobs. There is that. There is that. Chelsea's not going to be an option, Jimmy. We're currently at Dungannon in Northern Ireland. We're not even going to get Cambridge or Shrewsbury. Bradford Park Avenue, we could maybe do. Um... Could maybe do that. Forest Green's a bit too high, but let me look. We can't. We can't instantly look to jump. At the end of the day, we've just done something. We're the end of the season. Agreed. Try and stay in the uh, in the division. If we can, great. If not, you know. Never mind. You know, we did what we you know we we were brought in to do a job. That's all we gotta do, yeah. Maybe they've got no applicants. That, that's a really good point, Jimmy. Exactly. Imagine if nobody applied for the Chelsea job, and then my CV turned up and they went, "Oh yes, that it's, it's literally him or nobody." <laughs> I love. I genuinely love your thinking. I think it's genius. <laughs> I think that's absolutely exceptional. Um, so the interesting thing there that we changed we took Gallagher out of a striker we put Campbell in to play up front he normally plays on the wing wait until he gets sacked it could be two games at this rate it could be there is a possibility he spelled manager right on the CV we'll hire him why is he giving us a VC um, <laughs> it's a really bizarre thing to do so, I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine games left. Now, does this league split? Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a split at that point as well. Or is it? Number of teams, 38 games. League splits after 33. Yes. Okay. So, of course, the championship group and a... Uh, and a relegation group so who want to take over at Chelsea I mean that's the thing there exactly exactly you know we've just won the Middlester Cup they'll be straight on to us going like Jameson is there any chance you could leave Northern Ireland right I know I know, I know we're reaching a bit right we're reaching but we like the, we like the cut of your jib you know we like the fact you're there Trophy in hand. Did I win? I did, Mrs. J. I did. We've won. So once again, I'm a winner in the virtual world of football manager in Northern Ireland. Perfectly shit housed it. It was. It was. It was. It was a thing of beauty. And the thing is, now the fans don't like us. So, and the board don't really like us either. <clears throat> so we're already all of us are collectively thinking well let's work out how we can fuck this team off to be honest <laughs> get the Baileys out <coughs> that's a good point actually yeah we could have, we could have a couple of Baileys couldn't we to celebrate um, yeah so we're now we're now looking at uh, maybe we can start cooking with an air fryer well whew, what as a celebration get the air fryer out <laughs> That would be an incredible celebration. <laughs> How's the stream? Oh, t t How's the stream? Oh, Tony made one tons. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> That's a sore subject. We didn't get one. Yeah, we didn't get the uh, the air fryer in the end. Mrs. J's not. She's, she's still not over it. She turned it down. At least for the new people. 
Sounds like your wildest dreams. I mean, it would be. It would be win, win a low grade, a low grade cup competition, and then uh, make slow cooked food. Sounds perfect. I do like the fact that um, that we could be sacked before the end of the season. <laughs> I do like the fact that there is a possibility. Please send it back up front. I mean, we could, we could. There's also now part of me, that, and you, and you all know, you all know that there's part of me in my head going. I guess we're gonna, uh, I guess we're gonna turn this around, then, aren't we? And we get promoted. Shrew, welcome in, mate. You just missed it. You just missed it, man. We've, we've, we've just won a cup. We just won a cup. It's been it's been a long time coming. Huge shout out by the way to Shrew. How's your how's your stream by the way, man? If you haven't followed stream before, uh, Shrew before, make sure you get a follow. He's a, he makes incredible YouTube content. Brilliant streamer as well. Um, love love having him in. So yeah, appreciate you. Merry Christmas by the way, Shrew as well. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to Shrew's uh, chat. Welcome in Adam Ward, XGN Patton. Appreciate the followers as well. Lunt, I'm really sorry. Literally, it's been like five minutes. We've had celebrations. We've just won the uh, Mid Ulster Cup in the Northern Ireland. I'm sure you all know it. Um, it's one of four trophies that are available to win. Um, it's been a bit of a weird season, to be honest. It's a bit of a weird save. This one. I'll give you a bit of a breakdown as to what we're doing. We'll just come off this bit at this point now because it's a bit um, irrelevant, really, because we've got no money. Are we going to get a signing in this stream? We hope so. We've signed two players that the board and the fans hate. So. We've signed Toby Crawford, who we had on loan previously. So we're doing the British Steel Challenge. I'll give you the context first of all. So we're doing the British Steel Challenge, which is you have to win everything in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, okay? 33 trophies in total to win. We've currently won this. Three. <laughs> Three trophies in five seasons, okay? So it's not going well. Um, it's taking us a little bit of time. We're 10% of the way through the stream, okay? We're in our third club. So again, it's not going particularly well. Somehow we've fallen upwards into Dungannon. Okay, we started in Northern Ireland, third division. We went to the championship, got promoted, won a cup. We got into a bigger club in Northern Ireland's championship. Probably didn't really do as well as we thought we were going to do. Somehow fluked our way into a job in the top division. The club we've come at, we basically knocked out our old club in the semi-finals of the cup so we now played the final of the cup won that we are currently sat uh bottom still of the uh of the division five points to make up still gonna be tough there's eight games to go so it's if we get into this into this playoff thing i'll be happier because we should be okay we should stay up then but it's gonna be tight it's gonna be really tight the players we bought aren't brilliant we've brought in um, we brought in Toby Crawford, who I had in the third division and in the championship with our first club. So he's come back in on loan. Uh, Cowland Del uh, Donnelly has come in, just made his first appearance. Looked like he did a decent enough job in the final. Can't really complain there. We have no money, so everyone's coming in on loans. Lee Black, again, could be fine, might be decent, might be terrible. We don't know. Gibraltar player. And then we've just signed Gareth Fisher, who's a, a 19 year old, who, again, the fans hate. So they hate Crawford, they hate Fisher. It's just one of those things, I'm afraid. Our star striker's been injured for eight weeks. That hasn't helped matters. He missed the cup final, so he didn't even start. So yeah, so we've got a few weeks left. We are sort of having little sort of views around to say who might else, you know, where can we maybe go? Because look, despite the 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 job saying come in and just try and stay up it wasn't even it wasn't even stay up it was try and stay up the job's insecure and we won a cup so we're now thinking all right let's have a bit of a look around lando junction could be back on that could be an option oh god they're gonna get relegated lando junction could be off <laughs> the problem as well is that we have to kind of bounce around and it's a bit of a, a uk journey man in that sense because we have to do everything in the uk so we haven't even won everything in the third division of Northern Ireland. So at some point, we'll have to come back and do Northern Ireland all over again. 
because in the third division there's four cup competitions that are regional so you can't even be dominant with one team in northern ireland and win everything it's not possible because in the third division you can only win one of those four cups so you've got to go back and win it with another cup and another cup and another cup it's just it's it's odd okay but this is where we are anyway hope everyone's well by the way happy holidays hope everyone's had a great uh, christmas let me know who you guys are managing in the uh, in the chat as well and um, and yeah give us give us uh give us some vibes you know where are you at what you're enjoying what you're not enjoying um and of course yeah drop a follow as well that'd be much appreciated we're edging up towards uh we're edging up towards 3000 at this point now which is brilliant love it also as well if you haven't uh, if you're a fan of podcasts have a listen to the uh the football manager show as well by the athletic it's myself and rdf tactics we uh we, we present this every single week every single wednesday um christmas break at the minute spoiler alerts of course uh, so we're back mid-january but you've got loads of content to catch up on if you haven't seen the show uh, so far so do go and drop a follow on that by the way it's a it's a great show if i do say so myself uh danielle g appreciate the follow and why am i even doing this for real appreciate the follow as well is the albion rovers job available uh, i don't think it is at least i haven't seen it available it might might possibly come up at some point though where's the uh see where they are second fm show excellent stuff we're getting there aren't we we're getting there rich it's happening albion rovers the job is not available yet they have a manager brian reed where are they they're currently league two so they are still there so they are still there so yeah no worries just yet about about him uh being sacked so maybe one day maybe one day we can get to albion we've got to try and work our way around around all of the uk so yeah we'll get to scotland fairly soon i reckon to be honest gals lol appreciate the follow as well very kind thank you for that uh i'm gonna play some of these players that need rest oh, northern irish cup okay so we've got a decision to make now appreciate you guys thank you for the extra shout on water my rovers got into the championship nice that's the thing like when you get an affiliation with a team it just becomes perfect doesn't it they're, they're the team you want to be managing all the time and it means more then as well Tony listen to me not the podcast try leads <laughs> came from shrew digging the vibes appreciate you guys appreciate you Merry Christmas by the way thank you for that I mean, the thing is, though, is that if we try these top teams, Jimmy, like, yes, you're right, we might be able to fluke an interview, but, I mean, it just, all it means is we're going to get sacked at the Premiership too quickly because we're going to go in with uh, our, our qualification is going to be too low, okay? Our experience is going to be terrible. And you know what I'm like in the Premier League. I'm not good. Like I'm not even. I'm not good in the in the lower leagues. Like stick me into the Premier League. I'm going to be like a fish out of water completely. So you know, I'm making this look difficult enough as it is. So, but yeah, if you have come from uh, from Shrew Street, by the way, I do need to tell you, I'm not one of those guys that wins all the time. Okay, I'm very much a let's try that's my that's my mentality right let's let's have a go uh, and see what happens and sometimes it'll work and sometimes it doesn't we don't like to spend big money exactly says dan exactly we, we try and do everything on the cheap um it just feels like it's destined to fail so i'm gonna make a couple of changes as well and uh, ignore the arsenal save yeah exactly yeah, arsenal didn't happen arsenal didn't happen we got sacked in the bigger by the way for anyone who's uh, wondering why we're talking about Arsenal, got sacked in the beer. Just one of those things. But uh, but we move. That's what the kids say. We move. Um, actually, not no. Let's give Conley a run out. And I'm also going to put Fisher in in place of Mitchell. Fisher can play at halfback. Right. So a couple of changes. Okay. Of course you're doing bad you're playing a half a star ability guy yeah exactly yeah needs must needs must in it 
we haven't got any five star players and even then it will only be five star players in relation to the to the abilities of the players we've got so you know it wouldn't necessarily mean am i right in thinking rdf got sacked by barcelona he did rich exactly yeah no one goes on about that do they no they'd rather focus on me and my failures at aberdeen and arsenal which is fair enough i suppose to be honest i'd focus on them as well so second cup match we've made a couple of changes i mean there is and let's not get too far ahead of ourselves at this point of course there is a crazy possibility if we if we win two cups with dungannon that would be mad right and still get sacked slash relegated As we say, we've already justified our our move. Ball at the top, Donnelly. Campbell with a goal. It's not soup, but we might as well shout soup. Soup. It's the other one. Good finish, terrible goalkeeping. We'll take that. Brennan puts the free kick in. Donnelly straight at. Because I like you more and being sat by Barcelona is easy and you get them out of debt. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Barcelona's like it. To be fair, Barcelona's a hard save. If you think about it like that, right? Your job is, as you say there, get them out of debt. And it's Barcelona. You're expected to still win. It's, t it's tough. It's far too tough for me. Genuine, I don't know that sounds really stupid. Like people sort of like going, What do you mean Barcelona is a hard save? It is any like wiggle room, any there's no margin of error in a save like that. We found that out with Arsenal, no margin of error. These are the saves I like start at the bottom, grind your way up, right? Earn your stripes. Don't complain about the game at this point because there's no need to sort of complain about things that don't work. Because for me, none of it would work at this level, eh? <laughs> just. If we get a win, great. If we don't, we don't. Offside, please. No, apparently not. Fair enough. You know, we just try. Just try our best. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's a good boy, actually. Decent header. Fair enough. It is a goal. Okay, you're right. Well done. All about the narrative. You're right, Dan. 100%. Yeah. Defenders just playing him on ever since like Barcelona there's no money that level. First season expectation is insane. All depth of season one, the board is moderate. Fun save because of the youth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there's always something there, isn't there? There's something to, to, to sort of aim with. Whereas I guess in every other save, there's, there's not really, is there? bring Crawford off possibly Fisher's aggressive which means he's going to get sent off at some point so that's going to be that's going to be exciting to see let's go a bit more positive yeah look at that there's the TJ modes old <laughs> arms folded I'm a comedian, therefore I'm serious. That's my uh, that's my face there. Well, I'm one of those serious comedians. Yeah. You want to hear my opinions about stuff? Jimmy, no worries, man. Pleasure to have you in as always. We will see you soon, buddy. Take it easy, man. Season three is a domestic double, lost the Champions League final on penalties. Still unfinished business. Can a 39 year old Messi get us over the line? I'm going to say yes, Rich. I'm saying that probably. Probably. Ball on the top. Lavery blocked it. Ever since I talked about can we get a, another win? Another cup competition. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Because it's not really happening. At this point, knew I shouldn't have said a word. Uh, let's put Gallagher.
Gallagher on as well, actually. Go up top. Right, back on later. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I don't know how long long we'll be on for, but we might be... We'll certainly be on for the next half hour, I'd imagine, maybe. So, yeah, you might well, you might well see us. Ball at the top. Campbell's away. Oh, good defending. Corner, Mooney swings it in. Clear away. Get the ball. Oh, I'll give I'll give away a free kick. Either of them. Either of them works. I mean, not, not really what you want, is it? Conceding a free kick like that. Alright, come on. Decent ball in. Get on someone's head. Of the way. Counter attacks on. Oh, why is it in that in that channel? Oof. Let's have a bit more of this. Let's see it. Come on. Move us into the next round of the cup. Make the board look foolish. That's what we need to do. Show them up for the ungrateful buggers that they are. I don't really want extra time though because this is going to obviously affect our league where players are going to be too tired for the league. Gallagher, wayward effort. Wayward effort. There's no way, there's ne he's never hitting the target from there. Ever. He's never hit the target from there. I don't know why he's trying it. foot in don't let them get the ball over the top that's the problem like that for example offside <laughs> we've got away with one there we definitely got away with one there um, yeah that was that was a bit fortunate how far off is he he can't be that far oh, he's fairly far off Do not let this slip, boys. Steven Gerrard style, but not Steven Gerrard style. Don't do it when the way that he said it and then do the slip and then cost everyone everything. Do the whole, like, you know, just he says the words, but don't then follow with the action. You know what I mean? I thought, I thought we got a tackle in there. Almost. I mean, it gets to the point when even the AI is playing like Segundo Valente a lot, innit? Being like, yeah, you know what? Segundo Valente does work. Ryan just looks at it and thinks, ah, I could cross that back in. Or I could just wait for it to drop out for a throw in. That's where I make my money, right? Uh, we've got 13, three minutes left, seven minutes left. What are we thinking now? Penalties, possibly? Who can take a penalty? Four. 11. 11 is better than four. Right, so. Fisher's coming off. Pendergast can at least take a penalty. He says, and of course we're going to wait until he's going to be the guy that's going to miss the penalty in the shootout. We know how it works. 
Campbell. We're not going to need the penalties, hopefully. Suit Mark 2. Suit. Great ball over the top. Suit. 2 1. Right, so Dungan and they're a cup team, right? Maybe. Maybe that's what we are. Not one of those like pesky league teams. 57 varieties of goal, exactly. Friendly. I've missed that. I've missed, I've missed the fact we've been able to say that. I think even the league he's not been scoring. Where comes Prendergast? That's pretty wide. <laughs> XG pattern, love the stream so far. Mate, appreciate that. Thank you so much. We try to go a bit chill, you know what I mean? Like, just, we don't want it to be too silly. We don't want it to be too serious. But it's like, we always say that you can be one of two different ways. You can either be like an educator or you can be an entertainer. And I, I fall very much into the, um, into the entertainer category. Now, my background is I'm a stand-up comedian. Um, I did a show called Football Manager Ruined My Life years ago. Some of you may have heard about it, some of you maybe haven't. Um, obviously, there was a pandemic that stopped the comedy circuit. So, hence why we're here, really, to be honest, trying to put this, uh, these sort of streams together. Um, the save itself, uh, Cranes, which you've just seen there, is uh, the plan is to win everything in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And it's stupid, to be honest. It's really, really stupid. Um, Football Manager in My Life, by the way, is on the YouTube channel there, so you can go and uh, have a check out of that. We usually it was it was on Steam. Now, here's the interesting thing: we were the first. I was the first ever comedian in the world to have a special on Steam. What about that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? You know. Um, but yeah, the save itself, the save itself, uh, cranes is let's say we have to try and win everything so in so all the leagues like promotions count as a trophy by the way so if we get promoted then that's fine that counts as, as something towards a, a cup to lift um oh look now they're getting a bit oh look at this now stable well i thought as much pathetic um so yeah obviously they they count uh trophies of course count so we have to just basically try and see how we get on we're five seasons in so far we've won three trophies so we're ten percent of the way through, but it's um, yeah, it's a it's a long term challenge. Are we going to finish it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Will we ever? Will we manage to get all these things done? Who knows? It would be great if we can. It'd be fantastic. But if we don't, then at least we can say we've tried. You know, and I'm and I'm trying to cut some uh, end of season, end of season um, sort of like videos. For YouTube as well, so if you miss things, then you can obviously play catch up on it. Uh, Cranes appreciate the follow as well; it's very, very kind indeed. Thank you for that. So, we stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Football Manager Show is, of course, out on Wednesday, so you can uh, check that one out. Um, I think we might have to start doing things like set play training, maybe, and see if that's gonna gonna help us out. But realistically, it's all about actually. It's all about just teamwork and tactics in it at this point we haven't got we haven't got time for for sort of like anything fancy it's literally just like get stuff done we don't have that many coaches players are like semi-pro so you know the transfer window is essentially passing us by we're going to try and recruit a, a, a director of football which we were, thought we recruited before but then it turned out that we couldn't ha have him for some reason which is really strange okay let's see if it'll work Pat Nevin that's not the Pat Nevin though is it no it's not it's a different one Limavardi have made an approach for Lee Mooney I mean he goes, he goes. We haven't got any money. Jim Heron can go. It's just it's one of those things, isn't it? We 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 haven't got any cash to try and like keep these players here. But you know we're not going to be here either come the end of the season. So does it matter? Maybe not. I mean, it's a shame that we are going to have to leave so soon. 
you know, go on to a different club again. Because the problem is, is it like, it doesn't look good for us, does it? <laughs> you move club again, Tony? Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a difficult one, that one. Um, and I guess because these seasons can, like, can be done um, relatively quickly, I suppose, really, then, yeah, you can miss, like, one or two streams and be like, I thought you were somewhere else. Yeah, 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 we were, we were, but there was there was an issue, so we so we changed our mind again. It's cancelled it again, so I don't know why it's not letting us do it. Fair enough. If it's one of those, if it's I don't know if it might, might be a bug, maybe or something, or whether it's just a just a thing. But oh well, if they can't, if we can't have it, we can't have it. You know. It's fine. Where we're going, we don't need a director of football. Where are you going, Tony? No idea. No idea. Osmond Foyo, we can't can't afford him either from from Dorking. Can't afford him. He's four foot eleven. That's hang on. That's surely the shortest player I've ever seen. I mean that like crazy. He's got jumping reach of ten. <laughs> like how? He's a defensive midfielder. Is this, is this a good overland? Of course he is. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love him. <laughs> I think he's great. Four foot, four foot eleven. He must be the shortest player in the game. Surely, he'd still be big in Indonesia, wouldn't he? He double, he double jumps. Like, like he literally takes a run. A run and jump. He's a real player as well. Tyson Nunes. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milton, wasn't it? They called him, yeah. He's a real player as well. He is definitely real. Claude Makalele was taller than 4'11", surely. If you're not even five foot... I, mean, I don't want to be heightless or anything, but if you're going to get a mistake, there's going to be mascots that are that are going to be bigger than that. Corner flags are probably bigger than that. My manager's avatar is four foot four, fifteen and a half stone called Willy Little. Good, good skills, good skills. I pre I like that a lot. Sorry, I just feel a little bit, a little bit embrace the small, yeah. Just find it a bit weird. I've never, I've never seen a. Uh, I didn't realize that that four eleven was actually coded on the game. Does that make sense? Those are all this full story. The rumors son has had the wrong player based on YouTube videos. Yeah, that is true. Imagine him next to Cal Hudlin. Oh, but like it'd be like twins, wouldn't it? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. In fact, I, I almost want to make that happen. But at Dulwich Hamlets. I don't want to have to go to England. I don't want to have to go to England so quickly. I know we're going to have to, though. We all know we're going to have to go there, don't we? Um, Andrew Mitchell play right back just to give a rest to Marin. Or actually, no, it's Glenn Torrent. We need him to play. Mitchell sure we've got there. Bobby Dean. Centre half. Glennie in for Scott. Actually, not Bird's back, are they? Martin Garouche is five foot. Ooh, okay. I mean, like, I'm not, as I say, don't I'm not don't come at me for a heightest thing. You know? I'm uh, I'm certainly not trying to cause any any issues here at all I'm all for it you know but um, 
yeah, I just, I just, just caught me by surprise, that's all. Right, I wasn't expecting it. I'm gonna put Gallagher up top, I'm gonna rest, rest Campbell, although he did get a couple of goals. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm gonna put Gallagher on the right. Campbell can start. Maradona was four foot, th yeah, Maradona was four, was five foot four, yeah, exactly, yeah. So he's already, so he's taller than, than this guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that just because you're small, you're not going to be good. But what I'm saying is, I've not seen a player under five foot in the game. You know, I didn't realise it was possible. So Glenn Torren have won five of their last five. Four foot eleven is short for a jockey. <laughs> exactly, Murph. Exactly. Like if you're if you're shorter than if you're like Shetland pony height as a human being, then it's difficult, right? I've signed a five foot seven goalkeeper on my saves before. Huge mistake. And now there's the argument though, Rashi, right? Shea Given was one of those five foot ten, five foot eleven goalkeepers, and he was brilliant. Five foot seven, however, is, is a little bit. Campos is pretty short. There were some short goalkeepers, weren't it? Bartes, I think, must have been a bit short. Or at least he's, he certainly has small man energy. Bartes under six foot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely under six foot. Oh, Lloyd Lewis, the guy we looked at. He looks incredible. Disallowed though. Gorham wasn't that tall. Was it? He probably wasn't actually. Yeah, you're right. John Burridge, 5'10. Yeah. Yeah, there was some, some sort of like, some really good, good shot stoppers who weren't, who weren't massive. You know, and there's also some really big goalkeepers who aren't very good either, so. Nice block. And we're uh, being out of, they're, they're all over us at this point, aren't they? Glenn Torrent. Less famous, fondly remembered Leicester fans, Kevin Poole, five foot ten. I remember the name Kevin Poole. I don't remember too much about him, but. I do remember the name, Mona. Let's move that line up a little bit. See that it's going to help us a smidge. It's top versus bottom, so it's always going to be a, a, a tough match. This one, isn't it? Tallest goalkeeper I knew was a six foot ten, a Danish fella. I mean, yeah, absolutely would be, absolutely. Mad Sinus is probably, he probably not, he probably, but yeah, of course, he's a six foot ten Danish goalkeeper. 100%. I bet he was incredible as well. Waltz moves the ball back inside. Gives it, oh, almost gives it away though. Might have to speed our, speed the play up a bit because they're certainly trying to like hassle us and make a mistake. Gallagher. Back inside, Walsh brings it down. Oh, hang on. Offside. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, we know Martinez is a little bit shorter. But even still though, like Berezi was was decent as well, wasn't he? And he was he was he was a short centre half. I think there's a difference though with a with a centre back and a goalkeeper. Oh what a save that is. What a save. Because a goalkeeper you want you want them to come for things. The centre back, you can sort of, you can be a bit more positionally. Uh, you, know, you can play to your strengths. You, you've got a partner as well, for example. You've got, you know, someone else is going to like do the cover for you. Rene Gita, five foot nine, yeah, hundred percent. I think, yeah, if you if you're just a, if you're the goalkeeper, the last line, like you, there's only you. So I think you need everything to your advantage, don't you? Really. That Murph fella, appreciate the follow. Very kind. 
bit of goalkeeper hype chat and we're all, we're all on board, right? JJ Batch as well. Welcome in, buddy. Let's count kind of press for a little bit. Higita wasn't tall, but he was high. <laughs> well played, Bill Sona. Oh, hang on. Dobby's through. Good finish. <clears throat> Nothing you can do about that. Good ball at the top. Appreciate the follow as well, by the way, JJ Batch. Yeah. So yeah, one nil down sadly against the league leaders. Sinking feeling all over again, eh? Banger are losing to Linfield though. Linfield are actually winning again. That seems a surprise. It seems like something they haven't actually done for for a while. Corner kick, Mitchell swing one in, put it on someone's head. Come on. Oof. <clears throat> Try and surprise someone by giving us a goal. Head away, Galga picks it up. <sighs> Terrible shot. Terrible shot. What are we thinking? Oh no. Oof, I thought we were through again there. Thank you, no. The worrying thing is as well, by the way, so everyone who's coming from, from True's uh, chat. This isn't the worst we've been playing tonight. <laughs> Number two nil down. This isn't the worst we've played. It's um, it's been tricky. It's been tricky to say the least. Defenders are looking around a little bit like, who's marking who? I don't know. Do we touch tight? Don't think so. Do we know what we're doing? Not really. Is it working? No. Of course not. Of course not. Being massively outplayed. Still trying to tell anyone that's uh, what happened. No halfback balls from the defence. The halfback's there. He's just not doing the job. He's not. He's not doing it very good anyway. That's for certain. Um, I just think it's one of those, isn't it? It's one of those. One of those issues. I'll tell you what, let's. Switch it around. Stick Joey Jones there. He can do something a bit, a bit different. Mooney in for Black, possibly. Yeah. Change, change stuff around. Why not? Minute Segundo Valente and I'll attack him one. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Again, why not? Why the devil not? I'm gonna be glad when I can move to a club where I can go back to 442, that's for certain. All these new fashioned roles and oh newfangled things. I'll never catch on. McCartan. 45 seconds that's taken to nullify those changes. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Everyone just stood around going, I don't know who's going to have these men, men here. Okay, superb. <laughs> I think we're going down. <laughs> I don't think we should have left Bambridge, if I'm honest. <laughs> Ironically, we left Bambridge to like, you know, go, yeah, we don't want another like, couple of trophy last season. It's grand that we've won one now, but. Still, it's taken us a while to get there. Miles offside. Miles offside. Just, just I love the fact he's just started running even though there's like no one anywhere near him. The ball's nowhere near him. He's just like, I'm making the run. I'm making the run. Walks to McBride. Ball at the top is Mooney. Oh, just dink it, just knock it through. Literally, all I had to do was just, just take a touch 
and then the other forward would have came on and just tapped in with empty net but best bit of play wonderful bit of football from the club there but no just not using this yeah Walsh turns and then turns back again and gives the ball away that's a bit of decent defender well played Dean stepping up nicely McBride blocked Bird comes for it walks the way again cuts it back Gallagher comebacks on comebacks on <laughs> Ball. Walsh gets his head up. I mean, three ones as good as we could have expected at this point. Nice headed by Bird. And we pulled about a 3 2 in a. I forget who it was actually in the last match. 3-1 down and then we ended up like so 3-0 down and then ended up 3-2 towards the end so Oof. we can sometimes get something out of it out of games but sadly it is very rare all over the top Oof, well saved. That's right, get back up, keeper. That's what we like. The thing is, I'm reluctant to change stuff as well because it seems to be working. Like, ball at the top, Gallagher's away again. Oh, threw the side of the bar. And you're right, you're right, little Leclosian. Why do we only play when we're 3-0 down? It's like we give, we give them a head start. That's it, right, it's 3-0, lads. Now it's time for us to turn up. Before that, it's not fair if we also play. Mooney, Gallagher, doesn't quite get there. Oh! Oh! And that's probably the moment that we've been relegated. Bye-bye, <laughs> Birdie. Exactly. There's a reference I get. <laughs> oh, it's offside. So close. I mean, not really that close, to be honest. It's quite... It's quite offside, isn't it? It was a stupid... Like, why has he pushed him? He's on he's on the other card. Like, why has he done that? That should have been four. Especially like, when we were coming back into the game as well. It's a really stupid thing to do. But fair enough. He, he figured it made sense. Oh, what a finish. He's a hell of a player, this Lloyd and Lewis, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, we desperately wanted to get him in and we pour it down. He moved to Glen Torren, who obviously were top of the Premiership at the time we were in the Championship. They offered him three times as much wages, which I think helps, helps sweeten the deal a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, he's some player. Some player. Thing is though, they're all they're all like difficult games when you're losing, isn't it? That's the problem. Oh, we'll just put that wide. Sandman style, appreciate the follow. Very kind. It's um still and the thing is though, it's still five points from safety, so even though we are losing, we're still not really losing ground. So you know, 
there's not a lot we can say there to be honest yeah they've just get they've given up they're all out leave it there <laughs> yeah yeah well just in general or like just on the stream <laughs> Because you know, I think we could we could technically walk at this point as well, and it would be, it would be fine. Deadline day is tomorrow, so there's that. Let's have a quick little look at the job security board. See what's around. <sighs> Slim Pickens, in it. Trafelgan, Trafelin, uh, Kilman at Ross County, Cambridge, Dulwich still there possibly. Bishop Storford, possibly. I don't really fancy Bishop Storford. It's, um, it's a few games left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. And then a couple of relegation matches as well. Plus another cup match. So, kind of is a thing where we could potentially still push on and make... A move? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It all feels a little bit, a little bit futile at this point. But it's one of those, isn't it? We've got an option. We can, uh, we can see what happens. We can go with it. But we're, um, we're not back tomorrow. I'm away tomorrow, as I say. Uh, we're back up home, seeing, uh, seeing my family tomorrow. We will be back on Friday, though. Definitely back on Friday. Where we're gonna do some more of uh of this fun. This fun, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and uh push ourselves on and hopefully get um either another cup with uh with um Dungannon or we're gonna move. So that's the they're, they're the two options really, to be honest. We don't really have too many more options available to us. Um we're gonna have a quick little look around and see who's available for raiding, I think. Pilgrim's on for like three and a bit hours. He might be coming off. Um, which is a shame. So we don't like raiding over him. But um, who is doing something interesting? There is... Let's say what? What can we see? What can we see? Who's got something fun? Anyone know of a fun save going on at the minute? There is... Guys in Cambridge. There's a guy... Big biceps, Daniel's got no camera on though. Let's see, what we got. Appreciate you all. Appreciate you all. Very kind. Let's see who's on. I tell you what, let's go with Pilgrim. And if in, he, he, we can, we can all encourage him to stay, can't we? Unless Lee Wolf saying something. He looks brand new. Who's he managing? It says. Rapid Vienna or Wolfsburg. I think, I think he's a Wolfsburg. Yeah, Wolfsburg. Let's go see Pilgrim. All right. Give him some love, okay? Try and encourage him to stay on as well for a little bit. He's a good lad. We like him, okay? So, love to everyone. Appreciate you being in. We will see you all on Friday. And remember, we won a cup tonight, so that's the important thing, okay? Go give Pilgrim some love. Make sure you follow him as well, by the way. He's a really, really good dude. We love him a lot. Take care. See you soon. Bye now. Opportunity out swinger this time, buried.